I do wrong there? How we all doing? Sorry about that double, double up short intro, but how are we doing here at the Irish Hotspur tonight? As you can tell, I'm not Dave, nor am I Jack. I am Jacob from United Spurs of America. You can see right there. Uh, big up yourself. If you're here with me, it might be pretty late, early, depending, you know, how you look at time. Time is a man-made construct, but that's not why we're here. Unfortunately, we're here to talk about Tottenham. It could be fortunately, could be therapeutic, Spurs therapy, as I love to say. Um, honestly, 1-1 versus Everton. Everton's fighting to stay up. We've got we got Sean Dyched, plain and simple. Um, I knew he was going to make it tough for us. There were moments where they let us have a lot of possession, and then I felt like we did the same thing. There were moments where we let them have a lot of possession, and honestly, you can't be doing that. Um, you cannot be doing that. Not against relegation fodder, not against uh, championship sides. I, 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 I had a loss for words at this point because it just seems like rinse and repeat. It seems like we're always talking about, oh, we capitulated. Same thing that happened to versus Southampton, capitulation. And to me, um, I don't know, it's just tough. It's tough to swallow again, yet again. Um, but big ups if you're here. Uh, do hit that like one time for the one time Jack and David. They were bringing content all day. I, for one, was a connoisseur, if I, w if I may. I was a connoisseur today of the Irish Hotspur, as I am on much, much match days. Um, but big up thems. Make sure you hit the like one time while you come in. Or if you got to step out, hit that like. It's like a door. It's like a revolving door on a saloon or something. So show some love here for the Irish Hotspur. They're on the road to 10K. It's time to get them there and counting. Um, they are, if I could be honest, my favorite Spurs channel out there that covers everything from transfers to match days. They give you a lot of content. That's why I'm here on this late night fan show. Just want to give a fan show uh, sh to those who want to come on. So if you do want to come on, go ahead and hit that join button next to the subscribe button. Get that membership. The link will become available to you in some magical manner. I'm not sure how. I haven't done it. Uh, United Spurs of America, we are not monetized as of yet. So um, I don't know how the membership thing worked, but I, I, th I guess at some point when you sign the membership or you get the thing, uh, you will get the link. You can join me. You can cry with me. You can yell at me. I'm a pretty good punching bag. I've been one a lot of my life, so I'm good at taking the punches. If you want to roll with me, you can roll with me. I already got one beautiful guest lined up in the back. I have a couple more. You know what? And depending how I feel, um, if I haven't gotten my needed therapy out yet, I might just put the link in the chat. I don't know. I don't know, but I might do it. But once again, everyone, this is the Irish Hotspur. Big ups if you're here. Um, or big ups if you're watching this uh, on, on playback. I know people do that. Um, so please do hit a like if you're watching this on playback or if you're watching this live. Also, Jack Knicky, my boy, he put a poll in the YouTube thing. You know, on United Spurs of America, I don't like to put no lame poll in the chat. I don't like to do, have you liked, have you subscribed? To me, that's lame. It's uncreative. Why didn't you think about something better than this, is my opinion. So I like to do that. Jack hit me up. He said, you want a poll? I said, yes. Yes, hit me with the poll. So how are we feeling today? Uh, you got four options there. Spurs will be Spurs. I really hoped for change. Maybe next season, I guess. And hugs needed all around. Honestly, there should have been one uh, also that, you know, all the above. I could use a hug. Maybe next season. I really hope for change. And Spurs will be Spurs. All these are very much applicable to, uh, to our day today. It's unfortunate we were up 1-0. Uh, late in the match, you bring on Davinson Sanchez. Let me see. What what minute was it that, that we brought on Davinson Sanchez? The 77th minute when we brought on Davinson Sanchez for Clement Longland, I said, okay, this is not good. I don't like this substitution personally, um, but we obviously had to roll with it. And then we brought on Lucas Moore in the 82nd minute. To me, another substitution that I'm wondering, why did we make this substitution? Why didn't we try for maybe a Dan Juma wanted to ball against Everton? Maybe... I don't know, Jaffa Tanganga instead of give me Mundel, Saar, Devine. I don't I don't care. But you give me Lucas Moore and Davis. Lucas ain't even gonna be here outside of the summer. He's gonna be here till the end of the year just like Conte was. I'm gonna breathe because I digress. But you know what? We move 
We live to see another day, as they love to say. Um, honestly, the 11 didn't surprise me. When I look at I, I figured we'd set up similar to what we've been practicing all season. But the most disappointing part for me, I think, um, was that our tactics seemed to be the same, which were ineffective. And then once we go up, it's to sit back. And to me, that's just not good enough. Uh, you're playing a dangerous game. It doesn't matter who you're playing, let alone the man, the myth, the legends, Sean Dice. Come on. Sean Dice? Sean Dice? Dice? I don't know how I, I don't know how you're supposed to say his name, but honestly, I woke up this morning feeling Sean Daishi, if I may say. I was feeling Daishi in the pants, and I felt like this might happen, and um, it's unfortunate. But you know what? I did think we would lose one zero. That was my gut feeling. To so to win one zero would have been great, but to 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 draw one one, I don't know. I'm still trying to cope with the feeling of we should have had three points. We now have one. Now I think everyone that's below us, i.e. Man United, Newcastle, etc. And I don't even think I think Newcastle's ahead of us actually. I may be wrong. Yeah, Newcastle is third. So United and Brighton and Brentford, they all have at least two games in hand on us. Um Brighton has three games in hand on us. So they either got two, three games on hand on us and they could catch us quite frankly with the games in hand and i just think we're not really setting ourselves up for a good position but then again what is a good position at this juncture that's a great question to ask let me run through some of the comments real quick before i bring on the first guest and get this thing super rolling rolling harder than a rolling stone rolling harder than an 18 wheeler as we like to say here in the states um let me hit up the comments irish hotspur oh that was me uh jacob's channel link there it is if you want to do subscribe uh over there to united spurs america you can go ahead and hit that link there um big up thfc fan says i want potter or rogers to replace conte i love conte he was a serial winner did not deserve to go his formation and style of play was all right but the team had s okay uh i am levy and enoch in they have done so much for us says thfc fan i blame the manager for not getting us a trophy and not getting us over the line poor management conte a brilliant coach but couldn't settle in conte got the backing but still denied it that's a disgrace i think the backing thing is a debatable term we'll get into it i'll save some of these comments here and i'll bring them up with my first guest i'm le i'm letting the suspense build with my first guest but you know these are hey all opinions are welcomed opinions whether i agree with them or not and just a little foreshadowing i don't really agree with all this that you're saying thfc fan i do agree that conte is a brilliant coach that couldn't settle in i do agree with that i have started these comments i will come back to them uh you bring up a good point but what's up rohan kumar uh says can't sleep glad you are here to keep me company i'm glad you are here to keep me company as well rohan um Hopefully you can get some sweet, sweet dreams after this. But uh, THFC fan also says today against Everton, we played well. You've seen a pattern of attacking play. The defense was good. Uh, we played at the back nicely. Just some occasions we lost focus. Overall, I believe we did good. Harry Kane needed to move the club. Um, these manager not getting us over the line. Well, I mean, who's our manager? Is it, is it Stellini? Is it Mason? Is it a dual-headed monster? Some kind of uh greek mythology greek mythology beast that i didn't know a stale a stalacin uh a, a malini massini Mussolini. i don't know i don't know what we got but we don't got a real manager right now um at every chance he really could he he just kind of went off to to italy um be that as it may uh kane needed to go I don't, I don't understand that. But big up, PHFC fan, hitting up the chat. I appreciate that. Everyone hitting up the chat. Be do, be hitting up the chat and tell me how you feel. Um, I'm definitely, um, you know, I'm not feeling that great, but I'm here. I'm alive. and I'm breathing. So, like, I'm not really that upset if I think about it. Rabbi jo Rabbi jo jo uh, just get. I'm sorry. I, I really butchered your name, Rabbi. 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 Uh, just get someone that actually plays attacking football like Deserby or something, 4231 or 433. Honestly, um, you know, I was on the football terrace a little bit earlier tonight, um, and someone had brought up the fact that, you know, hey, we go 1 0 up. Why are we? Uh, why aren't we going for the kill shot? Why are we inviting the pressure to come to us? And honestly, I brought up 
if we were going to do that, why wouldn't we switch to four in the back and go three midfielders, in my opinion, and then really clog it up? Um, if we're going to sit back, sit back in a way that I think Jose would be proud. Uh, I really just thought it was uh, – we'll get into it. But big up for the comment. Um, on about the Zerbi, I'm not a fan of him. He has good staff room. That's why he's doing good at Brighton like Potter. Brighton, they're doing something. Whatever they're doing over there at Brighton, whatever they're drinking in the water, we need to go over there. We need to fill up some gallons of their Brighton water. Is it the seagulls? Is it is that the reason why they're so um, doing so well? I don't know. I don't know. Big up Phil Coys. There's a member. Phil, jump, hit, hit the link, man. Hit the link if you want to come on and chat. Uh, get these thoughts off your brain. On the night shift, hope you're all well. Um, we're past 15 minutes. Says, what a fucking shit show that was. Why am I not surprised? Bottle jobs once again can't handle the pressure bunch of wet wipes i mean couldn't have said it better myself big up phil my friend it's been a long time let's chat soon <clears throat> excuse me good first half says wayne bonner big up wayne bonner member as well the members are checking in and they're checking in fast and checking in i'm gonna check them out uh wayne bonner says good first half played good football second half was the old first half under conte embarrassing i think we'll get rogers as a manager oh my i'm gonna star this uh i'm gonna have to bring this up with my first beautiful guest uh i think we'll get rogers as manager even though he's somewhat short term as he goes as he goes for three, four seasons before running out of steam. Honestly, no, I don't want Rodgers. I don't want Potter. When both of them managers got sacked yesterday, red flags, alarm bells, everything started going off in my head like, okay, this might actually be a problem if we get these lads in um, because it's just on and on, back to on and on. Big up Mile High Hotspur. Everyone go subscribe to Mile High Hotspur. I'll put the link up in the chat in just a minute. Jadank ups to Jacob on noticing that. Ups to you, Jodank. Thanks for being here. L says hi. Hello, L. I'm bummed and can't deal with Spurs stuff anymore. But I wanted to say hi. Maybe your son can drop by and cheer us up. <laughs> He's in the living room yelling up a storm while my wife makes dinner. But you know what? I'm blessed. I'm blessed to have him. I'm blessed to have my wife. I'm blessed to be here on the Irish Hotspur. So if you're feeling blessed, regardless of the circumstances surrounding Spurs, please do hit that like as well. Do it for do it for David. He's been working all day. Do it for Jack. He's been working all day. Jack's here. Who's this Greek mythology manager? And can we pay him $15 million a year to save us? I don't know. And he's already on the payroll. It is the Mason Stellini Malini thing going on. Uh, much love to you as well, Jodank. Things get better. A little dirt and water, we can grow. I love that. A little dirt, a little water, and we can grow. You're absolutely right. You know what? I've been seeing him. He's been patiently waiting. I've been talking and blabbering for just over 10 minutes. I feel like that's a good amount for me to just blabber by myself. And I thank you, uh, the 23 of you who are here listening to me blabber. But I'm going to bring on my first guest. He's a beautiful guest. You know him. You love him. It's technically the elevation of this man and his channel. It's the most elevated you could get in the Tottenham Hotspur community. Let's welcome in Leo from Mile High Hotspur. How are you doing, my friend? What's going on? Thank you for that. Big up to you, Jacob. I'm doing good, bro. Um, considering we bottled it, I mean... It's it was honestly almost expected, bro. So I've had a little bit of time now and uh I've been able to get most of it off my chest and I'm able to now just you know, just like you, drink the water, be cool, just, uh, just let it all sink Hydrate. in, you know. Yeah. yeah. Add a little bit of dirt, a little bit of water, everything's been all right, just like yeah. the man said. Yeah, exactly. You know, at some point, um, we as Spurs fans, we as humans, we have to accept the nature of the reality of the situation that we're living in. Yeah. And quite frankly, right now, like Elle, like Elle said in the, her first comment, says she bummed out, doesn't want to deal with Spurs stuff. She's not the first, not the only, and won't be the last to feel this way before we finish playing these nine games. We have nine, I like to joke around, we have nine finals left. <laughs> yeah. How fun is that? Um, you know, sorry. and then... I'll, it, that is, a, that is a good comment there. It's just, you know, Jacob, as you and I can kind of see the opposite side of the coin as far as us being, mm -hmm. you know, 
in the Tottenham community as far as YouTube. We pay attention to what other other YouTubers are saying. And it's kind of like, yeah, it, it's it's really easy for us to just kind of turn it off. But at the same time, it's really hard, man, because a lot of what we do around our daily business, our daily movement is, you know, is, is supporting other channels and watching their stuff and and commenting and just being being around. So it's like Spurs for us is um, it's it's hard to, 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 to tune it out. Honestly, if, if, if you want my honest opinion, it's it's uh, yeah, it's of course it's, it's hard, hard to it's tune hard it out. It's, you know? Yeah, of course. Um, Leah Richards here is providing a little bit of the antithesis to my general mood and somber tone when I open the show. It says a point at Goodison Park isn't the worst result ever. They've improved under Dice. We got Dice and Arsenal and Chelsea both lost there this season. Okay. Uh, there you go. There's some positives. We can take that. We'll take some points, drop them some little positive jelly beans. We'll take them and we'll place them over yep. here into the positive jelly bean pile. I like it because you know me. Uh, you know me, Leo. Leo, you may not know me well enough. I like to try and look at the positive thing. I mean, depending on how much water I got, I try to see how much I have rather than how much I have not. And um, I appreciate you. Okay. Tuning in, first of all, so big up yourself. And then uh, providing a little bit of the antithesis maybe to my mood that I was feeling. It says, too many of our fans acting as if we are a relegation team, we are fourth, folks. I think for me, and Leah, I want to throw it to you, um, but for me, I really feel like I'm just disappointed. I don't necessarily feel like we're a relegation team, but I had such high hopes coming into this season, even with the mediocre, you could say decent, you could say, okay, maybe not about the transfer window. Um, but coming into this season, I felt, okay, we got to definitely make an improvement. Today we could have gone third. It doesn't mean much, yes, because there are teams that with the game in hand, but if they still got these games in hand, getting two extra points to what we got kind of would help our cause if you look at it at the end of the day. But um leo i don't know how you feel can you take any positives away from here or are you feeling as if we are a relegation team no well i mean just to kind of piggyback a little bit off of what you started saying there um about anticipating a better season so far i mean who in the who in this universe would have seen this type of form that we're in right now considering the way we left last season off, right? We freaking were steamrolling teams. Mm -hmm. We were scoring a lot of goals. Our whole team was just, you know, we were we were we were firing on all cylinders. And then to come to this season, and now, you know, you know, at the beginning of the season, Jacob, we we started. Uh, it was our best start to a top flight uh, season ever. Right when we when we got to all them points that we had, I, I I don't know the exact numbers, but I remember for a while there, everybody was really stoked because we had picked up more points than we had ever picked up in a top flight season. I'm I'm starting mm -hmm. to think if it wasn't for the start that we had and and picking up these oddball fixtures here and there, we could easily be in a, in a, in a not relegation. I wouldn't go that far, but uh, we could easily be a mid table squad had we not picked up a lot of the fixtures that we a lot of the results that we did in the season. But to go as far as relegation yeah that's an over exaggeration on um, in my opinion um but I, I talked about it yesterday bro i i, I knew that this uh daish team that we were going to be playing was not going to be the easiest they have been uh he has picked up results since he um came into the game came into uh, everton um and, and that's just facts bro very well said didn't realize i was muted there for a second but uh, very well said. Oh, very, very well said. I mean, that's the thing is we're just at a weird place, I think, as a club, as a fan base. So to me, I don't blame anybody for anything. I'm not blaming no fans. That's just not my style. Yeah. Um, big up the chat. Phil Army. Madarius Bunting. What up, Mud? Says uh, Jay Wallaby, the GOAT. Thanks for that, buddy. Appreciate that. Appreciate you checking in, uh, doing a solid here. This is a guy I went to high school with. Um, says Screw Keen. Yeah, Screw Keen with a right foot curl. I was an outside the boot curler. Just, it was I know a, it went it to was the a outside goal. Bro. Oh, my. It was, a, it was a lovely goal. Should Hugo have been able to stop that? I think I think before Hugo even had the opportunity, I think Davison Sanchez needs to be sticking a head in the way. So <laughs> speaking of sticking a head in the way, real, real quick, he he I mean, 
I don't think it was Sanchez in that moment, was it? I think he it was Skip. He was the one that the ball went right in front. Uh, uh, well, Skip Sanchez was, right was the there, one right? that did his little Tottenham thing and then turned to the side and, and the ball went right right by him. But, yeah, there was a couple. I mean, before Hugo's at fault, there was a few people that need to be called out uh, before Hugo does because uh, that was just put in such a good spot. Hugo probably thought he was going to be going on the opposite side of the bar. You know, he thought maybe he knew where he, he was. He didn't at even move. Wise. His feet were playing. So he didn't. wasn't going I mean, nowhere. That's how good of a shot it was, Jacob. I mean, sometimes, he, I, yeah, sometimes it's a screamer, but at the same time, someone got to close that man down. Well, I agree. I agree. But that's not Hugo Juri's responsibility. That's, that's other people in front of him, you know, and I, I, I just feel like Sanchez let us down on that one. I think you're right with, uh, with it being um, Skippy right there too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, as I, I remember in the replay scenes. I mean, Skip was trying to come over and provide help, but I just I don't remember if, if it was Sanchez. I might need to try and watch that at some point um, before you know, I keep carrying on. But Skippy's Skippy is. It, He's he's a he's a player right now that I I feel bad for him because um and, and and hear me out I mean I know he's a professional he's getting paid you know big wages or whatever for being a young man and playing um but he's kind of been thrown into the fire you know uh, we have we we lost uh, Rodrigo Bentancur and and it's it's been left up to him to pick up the slack you know it's, we're either going to re- rely on him or or Sar to be the one that accompanies um Hoybier. but Skippy had a couple of chances early on in the game where he were like that one uh, most noticeably where he carried the ball in to um, just outside of the box. And I think he had Harry Kane to one side, big up Jack. And he had a, uh, and he had Sonny open on, on the opposite side and he could have easily made a pass to either one of those two. And we could be talking about a one zero early on in the game. And he kind of just, I think he just hesitated a little too long and then uh, Keen came up and, and tackled him. And that was that tackle right outside the box, a, fair, a clean tackle, no, no, no foul, no malice in that. And uh, there's other chances when I think he Skippy just, he, he kind of hesitates a little too long. His passes are a little bit too hard, you know, when, when he, when he passes the ball out and some people just have a hard time uh, controlling them. Um, but I, I think, you know, it's worth saying that like, even though Skippy today had a rough one, um, with him, at least the ceiling is a lot higher than most of these veterans in our team, um, considering he's such a young talent, such a young kid still to 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 be getting, uh, you know, consistent uh, first team football, you know, whether he wants to or not. He's being called on, like I said, because of the injury to Rodrigo. Yeah, I mean, I really think you'll get. I think we saw a good at least sample dose of Skip and Sar whenever uh, Hoybier was suspended there when we went to the San Siro in Italy. Mm-hmm. But um, Big Up Leah Richards says, of course, I'm very disappointed to concede so late. Uh, but before the game, I was very worried about this fixture and would have taken a point before the game. Uh, for me, I felt like this is if we're a club that is serious about anything as far as challenging for anything, this is a club This that you got to go get three points. Now, I know we could talk about Liverpool. We could talk about all these other teams that just don't get the job done. But, um, and, I mean, it's a good point. Arsenal didn't, uh, didn't pick up three points there either. They're top of the league. But you know what? To me, it just seems like uh, we really could have taken advantage of the situation if it is the case that we should have only gotten out of there with a draw. You got to take advantage of that situation, in my opinion. You're up 1-0. You're up one nil, yeah. And then you start Clear being instinct, passive, bro. concede in the ninetieth minute as soon as stoppage time. Was everyone looking at the stoppage time? They're like, "How much time until we're done?" And then we just get scored on. I don't understand how we concede like that. Um, also, real quick, big up Stefano says, "What's up, boys?" From the Rods group chat. Big up. Thanks for coming over. Uh, while you're here, hit that like. Participate in the poll. Uh, that Vestal says, "Keen got lucky." Big ups, Jacob. That's my guy. Big up Vestal. Thanks for coming on over and saying what's up. If you're on Twitch, go check out that Vestal. Vestal. Stefano says, considering how much money Spurs spend, you were actually overachieving. I understand the frustration, though. The you understand the frustration, so I'm going to say it like this: like I don't think we're overachieving. Fourth to me was the minimum. I'm just concerned about the games in hand for the other sides. Um, Leah Richards brought up a point about um, that they couldn't break, beat Brentford at home on Saturday. 
I mean, that was a cracker of a game, though. It was 3-3. Three, three. They kept fighting and fighting. They came back three times, Leo. Uh, Brentford That's a good did. game. So if we can't put teams away, if we have a problem putting Everton away, putting Southampton yeah. away, these are matches where we're having trouble putting these guys away. And honestly, yeah. um, to me, I just I got to disagree. Um, but thank you for – I appreciate you commenting, but I do disagree because I just think we got to be doing more. Uh, we do spend money, so I'm not going to sit up here and say we ain't spend no money because we have. But how do we spend the money? That's the problem. Um, spending the money yeah. in a stupid manner, in my opinion, does nothing but set us back. And we've been doing this for years. This isn't recently. We've been doing it. It doesn't matter. No director of football – uh Paratici as our director doesn't matter if Steve Hitchens our direct we have the ability to scout some really good talent but we just don't cut the check so my personal opinion I'm not speaking on behalf of the Irish Hotspur so fair disclaimer don't come show David no hate if you disagree with me now yeah. but <laughs> I just think that that starts at the yeah. top down um in regards to Levy uh I'm not saying Enoch out Levy out I'm saying something need to change Something needs to change from the top down. This is no longer a managerial issue. You can cycle out fucking trophy winner and, and Jose Mourinho. What did he do as soon as he left? Won a trophy. What does everyone do as soon as they leave Tottenham? They win a trophy. Players included. Players, Players included, in, not just managers. Nuno included. Nuno yep. included. So to yep. me, yeah. um, I, I just, there's definitely a fucking, as I, if I'm a betting man, which I'm not, but if I was able to bet money or if I felt morally obligated to bet money on sports, I'm putting money, I'm bet, I'm putting a cheeky little bet on all the competitions that Antonio Conte will be involved in when he goes somewhere else because you can guarantee market 31 minutes into this stream on this day, Everton post-match fan show on the Irish Hotspur, Jacob Wallraven said, Conte's going to win a trophy the first year he's away from Spurs. I don't care where he goes. I don't care where he goes. He can come to the MLS. And he's going to win the MLS Cup or he's going to win the Open Shield. He's going to win something. It doesn't matter where he goes. He's going to win. Uh, that's just the Tottenham curse. I don't know what hoodoo voodoo we did, but we got definitely some kind of a curse. Uh, but big up, Stefano. Uh, Amir, what's up, Amir? He's, he's a cool dude. Another American lad. He's from uh, my neck of the woods in Texas. So nice. says, what's up from the Rods group chat? Y'all need Levy out. The man hasn't done anything. This is a Liverpool fan, and if he can call it, you got to. He's not the only one. There's a lot of supporters of a lot of different clubs that can call it as well. Um, that's right. The Rods group chat does show up. After the goal, we had 20% possession for the rest of the game, 30 minutes until 10 men of a relegation team. 20% possession. That is unacceptable. I do agree. I mean, I'm looking at some of the stats here. I'm looking at some of the numbers. When you look at, like, the momentum chart, right, the, the chart that shows at what time during the match were we, like, attacking – it's kind of it's kind of sad it's kind yeah. of sad when i look at it they have more for whatever this momentum take the staff or whatever you know i'm not here advocating for stats on the only sense of they will tell you what the other half of your eyes can't tell you at least for me personally because my brain can't keep up with where was Sonny all match while I'm watching the damn game? I like stats because it'll show me his heat map. It'll show me how many passes he completed, how many he did not complete. Sometimes I think a guy had a very bad game. Turns out he did a meh and as far as the stats. So then it kind of meets me. You know, in any in any sense, Leo, when you have a story and there's two people involved in any story, any situation, they got their side. This person has their side. The truth lies where? In the middle. Yeah, in the no, middle. No, I, I, in the I, middle. I, I, I get that. I get that. Jacob, I, I want to pose a question to you, my homie. And and I, I, I want I want your honest opinion, bro. Sonny uh, <laughs> I, I mean, is his heat map, have you seen his heat heat map for today? Yeah, he looked like a left midfielder, defensive really? uh, defensive mid. Not good. And okay, that's what it's been so, a lot of when Conte this season. No, I know. I know. And I know that's been one of your biggest pet peeves with, when, when people come at Sonny is, is is he's been played not in his preferred position, right? Um, and uh, big up, Jack. And and so it, if Perisic is not playing, is that different for, for Sonny, basically? 
I mean, is it do you do, are you of the believer that because Perisic is around, or even when Ben Davies was playing that left wing back, or even when Sess is there, I think the the totally way we play, play regardless. Uh, sorry to cut you off. I think the way that we play, regardless if it's Perisic or Davies, there is something different with Son. You could say he plays better with Davies there. I, I would say that. I would say that he plays better with Davies. Um, but the stats will also support the notion that with Ivan Perisic, Son's product, productivity is is awful i i don't have this the numbers on me exactly so don't quote me right now but i remember seeing a stat saying with ivan perisic it's like 20 something appearances with an assist and then when davies is there it's eight goals with a couple assists so <laughs> to me i i could be wrong could be give or take a few now i be lenient so with me so what about let me now let me just ask you part b to this question so what about like all these uh, all these opportunities that sunny does so let's say he he's not getting we're just going to throw out a ballpark figure he's not getting 10 chances anymore a game he's getting four right what about not being able to capitalize at least on the four that he's getting do you think that causes some sort of psyche problem do you think that causes some sort of uh some sort of unrest in his mind or something because he had that one that he had that opportunity today where he was offside probably by like a whisker or two and he he hit the ball right at the goalkeeper mm -hmm. i'm the type of guy you know when when richarlison scored that freaking screamer early on in the game and it was ruled offside a couple of weeks ago i i told myself that's a positive because at least he finished at least you know he's getting keeping that rhythm going so when i mean not the goal concerning was himself outside. with uh, with the referee in a in the moment yeah just yeah i mean yeah, I i'm not see. saying sunny did either i'm not saying sunny was thinking oh, my outside or outside yeah big up my homie big up big up but sunny doesn't finish those chances even when he's offside like and i think if he was at least to put him in the back of the sack while he's offside, that's going to help out this. That's going to help out the confidence or something. And like, I I'm asking you in, 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 in like, you know, on in, in fair terms, like, I mean, I, bro, I, I, I'm so worried about Sonny, bro. And I'm thinking that like, and I've been saying this all year, but I, I'm just really worried about Sonny. Are you not starting to, are you not starting to, 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 to wonder about any of that? Or are you, are you really firm on like, it's because he's not, being pushed up further enough and and he's getting that mark probably a little bit more this is just me i would, I would yeah because if if, if sunny is banging in 12 goals a season uh this season if he's banging in an 18 or, or let's just even say 10 we're probably we're probably third place right now we're not worried about you know the 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 other teams and so i guess my question is to you you know like are yeah are you are you you starting to like see anything there that worries you or or not at all i mean the whole squad worries me if i'm completely yeah. honest with you leo sure. um in regards to sunny i mean i look at it as like okay when we were running this system with antonio conte who were the players around him pierre mihoybier harry kane dian kulisevsky Eric Dyer, which by the way, fuck you, Eric Dyer. Um, all, not Oliver Skip, but th but these were some players that he also played with. And I look at their production. All right, where's Dan Kulusevsky been? So if we want to take a look at the front and the attack, you also got to include the rest of the front and the attack. So, but when we when we talk about Sun specifically, I mean, to me, my main argument will always be look at his heat map look at where he occupies space and that'll tell you why he's doing what x y and z not well he's not doing these things well is son a defensive yeah. mid is he a left midfielder is he a midfielder he's an attacker he's a winger a forward this is the guy who needs to be up front next to kane next to kane that's what happened when joe not just when when Conte first got here, wasn't implementing his full system, uh, speculatively, I will say, but his son won the golden boot. And when you look at where he, the space he occupied last season versus this season, Leo, it's just atrocious. I don't know why we're doing that. I don't know why he's doing it, why he's being asked to do it, why it's just 
ping a long ball to Perisic or Poro, just ping a long ball, Eric Dyer, ping it to someone other than the fucking opponent. And what does Eric Dyer do the whole match? He pings it to a damn opponent. To me, the blame fits everybody. The glove fits everybody. But it starts at the fucking top. Then yeah. it goes down. Yes. Then I blame our director of football. Then I blame our managers. Then I I might even throw some of these players before I throw managers in there, if I'm honest. Because the to, likes bro. of Eric I mean, Dyer. You have, to, you, have to, you have to. You have to. How many of them have outseen a lot of these managers yep. that have come in the past four years? So to me, there's got to be blame had. If you keep getting fucking health code violations, maybe it's not just the cooks. Maybe your servers aren't wearing a hairnet and they're letting their hair doodle into the food and now they're not passing code. You yeah, know what I'm saying? There's a lot. Yeah. And who, whose fault is that? The fucking boss, the manager, the chain owner representative of that restaurant, they are responsible. Well, is, I, I, I mean, atrocious. and kind of just to kind of just to piggyback what you're saying there jacob and i appreciate you answering i appreciate your input on on my question for sure um earlier we kind of were talking about you know how we we lack that i mean i mentioned we lack that killer instinct right and now how you're talking about it starts at the top we can even go as far as saying that daniel levy lacks killer instinct he lacks the killer instinct when it comes time to get in these deals over the line. He lacks the killer instinct as the ambition of the players that we're trying to go after. You know, when when we when we're when we're looking at Bruno Fernandez and we have to pay this sort of money out, and he wants the low ball. When we're looking at uh, when we're looking at that uh, anybody Jack Grealish who we were looking at a few years ago, we didn't want to pay that money. The Why? Bala, because the lack of killer, the baller, the, the lack. Of, the lack of killer instinct, bro, and that definitely is always going to trip her down. Too. Yeah, I mean the the list goes on and on with all the people that we could have had, you know, and uh, that that there starts to rub off on 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 your on the dressing room, you know, and it's not just the dressing room now, bro. It's actually gotten into like the mentality of everybody else in the club, and that's what's shitty. One thousand uh, percent, Taku Bebe. Sorry if I said your name wrong. Uh, says, I think Sonny issues a squad thing. Sonny isn't a player who can solely carry the team okay. when the team is not performing. And I agree with this because, yes, he is our star player. Yes, but he's not the only star player. He's yeah. not the yeah. talisman of this club right now. He's not someone who I throw in contention when we're talking about three statues you'd build outside of Tottenham Hotspur Stadium right now. I'm talking Bill Nick. I'm talking Jimmy Greaves. And when he retires, Harry Kane because of his accolades here and that's yeah. even if he finishes his career i wherever the fuck winning trophies to me that doesn't tarnish his reputation here doesn't change what he done for us um but also it doesn't change the fact he never showed up in a final so when we have players like eric dyer going on the internet laughing with dave portnoy at the fact that we don't win nothing i look at players like harry kane I look at players like Eric Dyer, Ben Davies, Davis Sanchez, players who've been part of semifinals, quarterfinals, finals. Yeah. The blame goes all around. Uh -huh. No, and I, I everyone, wasn't trying to everyone gets some of the smoke. Funny. Yeah, I no, wasn't I, trying to blame that Sonny. I was just wondering, you know, uh, if if you know Sonny was firing a little bit more on all cylinders, we're probably talking about a lot of different outcomes. And I mean, but that's it. Could have, would have, should have. You know, that's just here. That's just uh, it is what it is at this point. Now, um, we we have nothing. We can't do anything now but to just keep looking forward. And um, uh, but I'll tell you one thing, Jacob. I'm 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 really worried, bro. I, I'm really worried about the way everything's going. I can't believe that this club did not bounce back after getting rid of the so-called, you know, cancer. Nobody called Antonio Conte a cancer, but I'm saying they made it sound like he was just some fucking abysmal coach. That he was just like some some dude that they didn't, you know, that like just some bad guy. And that might be the case. We're not in the locker room at all. But it's just like, guys, why don't you guys just grab your nuts and 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 do your damn job, and and you won't have to. Work worry about the consequences right <sighs> i feel you bro i feel you and i agree with you parker says did dyer really do that with the barstool presidente he did i'll send you the video right now i sent it to you leo send it to parker 
I sent I it. Will. I will. I sent it. He's did, yeah. giggling like he's at a Miley Cyrus concert. He, yeah. He's meeting the damn president. Oh my god, it is a embarrassing, embarrassing. I might upload yeah, it. Yeah, I don't and play it on this. On this, no, I might do it. Uh, I, cynical I don't agree dad with what says he did either, bro. No, it's weak as hell. Uh, cynical dad says, "Why is Stellini continuing to play?" Excuse me. Why is Stellini continuing to play Conte's system? It didn't work for him, and it's not going to work for Stellini. It's a great question, cynical dad. I'm a cynical dad right now too, because honestly, I couldn't. I couldn't answer this. This is what's baffling to me. I understand starting out with the same system because it's a little bit of that. That's the shoe we run in all the time. It's comfortable, and it. I know how it feels, and I know just how to tie it. And that's fine. But at some point when the shoe's fucking falling off, you got to change the pair of shoes yeah. to something else. You got to do something different. And honestly, yeah. um, I I just don't understand. I just don't understand. Um, Real quick, while we're talking about things we don't understand, Leo, um, what do you make of the Lucas Moore and Davison Sanchez substitutions? Uh, when I started the stream, I, I had said that I wholeheartedly believe um as as soon as davinson sanchez touched foot on that pitch that we were doomed uh where were you at davinson sanchez comes in 77th minute and then five minutes later lucas mora comes in and then five six minutes later he gets a red card straight red um so i just first let me ask you uh what did you make of um the substitutions because for me fucking baffling well yeah, no, to say the least, bro, to say the least. I, I, I seen uh, when Sanchez was coming on for Ling Lei, I, I literally told myself, oh, my God, we're still going to do the same shit. I, li I literally was, oh, my God, we're going to do the same shit. Um, and, I, I, bro, I, I, I try to have, like, the mindset when I watch a Spurs game. I try to forget last week, and I focus on the game today at hand, and I, and I support whoever – even though I agree with the starting 11 or whatever, I try to just roll with it and, and be optimistic. But then when I start to see the same shit, I start to think to myself, this is insane. This is literally insane, right? We're doing the same things over and over and over, <laughs> expecting a different outcome. Yeah, this is, I know, this is literally man. insane. And, and, absolutely and it's like insane. A, yeah, oh my God, bro. And, and so now, you know, when, when I see Lucas Mora come on, I ask mm -hmm. myself, wait a minute. We're taking off a left-sided player and putting on a right wing, uh, a, a right winger, you know, if you will, a right-sided player in, in Lucas Mora. I say, why is not why? What's going on with Danjuma? We here, Danjuma, Danjuma should have been playing against us right now on on with an Everton jersey on, right? But for some reason, we decided to take him away from him. Poor from guy, and I don't understand why. Poor guy, he was he posted on Twitter. I just saw it on Twitter. He posted like a match day, it's match day, and it's like a video that he's he either is a good video editor or he's got somebody editing videos for him that he posts on game day. I mean, I'd be pissed if I'm this guy. And honestly, make of make what you will the level of quality this player has, but to not even get a fucking chance. I mean, yeah. yeah, his goal, he didn't know it was going in. We didn't know it was going in, but it went, it went in. in. It and went you know in. what? Yeah. Fuck it. We ain't winning great. We ain't flying on all cylinders. It's not one of those things, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Honey, mm -hmm. we've been broken for some time, and it is time to change the motherfucking tires. And I think a part of that problem is the reluctancy to switch up tactics, to substitute at different times i mean first of all this first substitution like i get it we're up one nil you bring in davison sanchez for clement longley like for like bring in lucas moore for son you could argue like for like why are we sticking to what we're doing if the game plan has now changed to sit back yeah we're changing the game plan and we're changing our players like for like why aren't we trying to adapt? And and that's what I want to see. You know what I'm saying? Even when I play FIFA and I do the damn manager mode and I'm shifting the pieces, I call a timeout. I, beep, beep, hang on. Substitutions. Switch these motherfuckers up. Switch the tactics. Yeah. Now instead of direct balls, let's go long ball. Let's go indirect mm -hmm. passing. 
Let's go build up play. Let's go fast build up play. Slow. Let's change up what we're doing. That's the we're part just, that bothers me. I really evil. thought. I re, uh, sorry, sorry, but I've really thought that with Daddy not being home to spank us, we might break the Conte rules a little bit. Conte being Daddy, um, Stellini and Mason being the children at home. But we are. They are such well behaved children. They're just so well behaved children. You know, Honestly. I, 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 I brought up a, a interesting thought that I had yesterday on my stream. I don't know if you were still tuning in when I said I have a conspiracy theory about what's going on at Tottenham Hotspur and uh, <laughs> big up, I, Paul. I, 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 yeah, I seen this comment and I laughed. Big up, Steve Paul. Big up, big <laughs> well up, big up, big up. Draw top four is yeah. on, baby. It's definitely still on. Um, Go ahead. You can go ahead and go through these comments real quick, and I'll and I'll, and I'll go ahead and uh, yeah. I'll just catch I'll up and say afterwards. hello to Lisa. Big up, Lisa. Orale. What can I say? Enjoy Orale Cancun. way. Gang, or, gang. No, not to Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Orale way. No? no, I mean not to Lisa, but yeah, you know but what I'm saying. Come on. Uh, yeah. L says I like how you guys are respectful to each other's opinions. I'm tired of being called stupid and deluded by other channels. Honestly, L, that's never the vibe that I have here on mm -hmm. Irish Hotspur. Uh, Dave and Jack, uh, they don't have those vibes. That's why I vibe with them. So mm -hmm. keep it locked here. Keep it locked on my channel. Keep it locked to Mile High Hotspur. I'll put the link up again. I was actually searching for that before we kept talking. But um, honestly, I'll ne I never blame fans personally because to me, you're not out there. You're not making manager decisions in game tactical decisions decisions in training decisions as the players decisions uh as a board member you're not doing none of that if you're a board member hell yeah i'm gonna find your ass and i'm gonna blame you you a player i already i already said it this is a little bit of a bigger platform so i'm gonna say it here too eric dyer harry wings 2v1 bring it the fuck you you versus me that's what I'm talking about. I'll send you my home address, Mr. Winks, Mr. Dyer. I will fight both of you right now. That's how I feel about it. But I will never blame the fans. I might be crazy in other ways, but I'll never blame fans. I don't think you're stupid for believing. So I'll just disagree with you and tell you why I disagree. And I might ask you why you feel the way you feel. So I have a better understanding of your opinion. Because you know what? The whole world goes round because we all help it go round. Uh, Parker Wallace, I wanted to vote for every option in the poll. Thank you so much, my sweet darling. My wife just brought me dinner. Oh, how sweet. Um, how sweet. Says, I wanted to vote for every option in the poll. That was that was my goal here. I just wanted to encapsulate all the feelings. So you know what? There's no wrong answers today. No one could be telling you how to feel. Uh, Lisa asks, do you think they're putting Dav in the shop window? Even though it's obviously pointless, that doesn't explain playing Lucas, though, because Lucas is going to leave. Do you think that Davinson Sanchez gets to start uh, because we're trying to get maybe like a 15-20 cheeky deal on him? We ain't even going to be able to give him away, bro. Can't give him away, can't. I think we could. I think we could sell him to like a. I think we could sell him to like a French side at lower, like Sampdoria sniffing at Winks. I mean, I, I gotta imagine say, that they would look at Wink or at, at Sanchez too. It'd have to be so. It'd have to be a foreign league in order for us to get rid of most of our players. This was. Well, you know the problem is. Yeah, go ahead. The, 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 the problem is real quick is is the the wages in England far out 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 seed any other any other league. So players that already have a contract in England in the in the Premier League, they do not want to go to any other club because they're going to have to take pay cuts. You know what I mean? Yeah, she said you can. Hey, she said you can. You can, bro. I just yeah. know I like to be respectful to, to yeah. you know, and 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 wait is not a bad word. It's no, like, that's how, like a friendly when we're term. Texting and I'm like, hey, fool, what you doing? You know, yeah, what's up? Yeah, what's up, bitch? Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. But ways <laughs> way technically stands for ass. So, right? Yeah, well, because I remember when I played soccer, they'd be like, orale, orale, way, pasale, way. Yeah, you know. And they would always call me Way, and they always said it's a term of endearment. So my whole life I've gone no, with that word as a term it's of not endearment. Bad. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. Um, Leah Richard says, we can't blame Stellini for Mora getting a straight red after only being on the field for five minutes, but no excuse now not to give Dan Juma a chance now that Mora will be banned three games. Yeah, it's straight red. I didn't even think about that. He will be banned three games. Um, who Lee, they'll play? find somebody else to put on instead of him. Someone, uh, so we play Brighton and Bournemouth. Those are the only two I see at this moment right now. This freaking thing. Um, 
So he's going to miss both of those. Honestly, good. Maybe now we'll fucking see Dan Juma play for five minutes a match. We were only going to see Lucas for eight minutes. We subbed him in the 82nd minute. We only yeah. wanted eight minutes of Lucas. Why not see what in eight minutes Dan Juma could offer us? Because fuck it. Maybe we have gotten a steal. Maybe there's a reason Everton wanted him because he agree. can score goals. Yeah. There's a reason and, and, they and, and, looked and, to get him. And, and and honestly, bro, that tackle by Mora was was uh, was a leg breaker in other circumstances, bro. You know, he's lucky he didn't he didn't break a leg on that one because that was a rough tackle that he put that in. ankle too. That ankle could that have been crunched around. And says, it's so crazy too. Uh, it's so crazy how how the turn of, how the events folded out because as soon like a couple of seconds before he did that tackle and he he went up for that header. Lucas being one of the shortest guys on the pitch and always is able to get his head onto the ball. I'm sitting here thinking to myself like, wow, Lucas is literally the only player on the pitch right now that is playing with any bit of heart. And then he goes and fucking does that, like, literally as instantly <laughs> as I was thinking that, bro. I know. That's the thing is I used to tout the the thing, okay, Lucas got heart, right? He got heart. He got that fight. He does. He does. I mean, at some point, you got to get it, goals yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> or an it, yeah, assist yeah. or a hockey yeah. assist even. I'll credit you for a hockey assist. Um, yeah. Phil says, can't stress this enough say it all the time we need four to five leaders in this team to get us over the line in these sort of games we have zero leaders uh this is a really good point we we do because because i wouldn't even say at this point hugo larise is the leader for us to pick up el jefe el jefe says hi guys this team is so painful to watch okay on that way on that way yeah, I always take way as like dude, like between buddy. Yeah, 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 exactly. As homies, as Leo would say. Um, That's right, my you homie. You can't appeal more as tackle either, and I would not because you would lose that appeal. Uh, yeah. Big up to Jacob and Leo. Big up, Phil. Thank you for up, hitting up. up the chat. Um, I said that I didn't understand the Lucas sub, and I wish we saw Danjuma and Sar on. But that's diluted because apparently it wouldn't make any difference. I mean, we're all suffering Spurs fans. Come on. Um, yeah. The SAR thing, uh, he did come on, and he was part of the reason why we capitulated versus Southampton. But again, when you give the, a young kid barely any time, it's hard for them to settle in. So I don't necessarily blame him. And when you got shit around you, yeah. it's So I could see why someone would say it wouldn't make any difference. But I'm you're not deluded for thinking about any solution because we're fucking sinking. We're in the submarine. We're already underwater, and there's a leak. And yeah, a few leaks, a few leaks, and all we're doing is sticking our thumb in there. We're like, hang on now, stop that. Yeah, but it's not stopping all the. Yeah, it's not stopping everything. You're not deluded. You're just looking for solutions. That's a natural human thing. Of course, of course, of course. Paul Beatty, when are we going to roll up this shit show of an outfit and just play NFL? Touchdown, the London Cox. Um, I love it. Get a Domitra or he's free this summer. Uh, he'll be perfect for the transition. Um, yep. Lucas does have heart. I've felt bad for him. That's the thing is, I credit him with that heart. I did too. I did sometimes too. I did it too. just lets you down. It, heart will let yeah. you down. Sometimes you fall in love, and it'll let you down. Uh, Leah Richards says, "Ben Bentancur, Besuma, Davies, Richardson, Sessignon, losing that many first team players would take a toll on any team, folks." I would and agree with this, except Sessignon starting it takes a toll on our team as it is. First and foremost, but sometimes, but sometimes he 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 doesn't always shit the bed, right? There's always sometimes where he for me he does. He's done one in thirty where it was good, and that's not good enough. That okay. might be and, good enough for Hoffenheim. It's not good enough on, if you're trying to compete. On the flip side of the token, what about Perisic? Maybe two out of thirty. <laughs> one or two out of thirty as well. I mean, he's had a couple assists and he had a game or a goal versus Southampton. But if you ain't going to credit yeah. Sonny with his goal at Southampton, then don't credit Paris to his goal. Um, yeah. yeah. And it yeah, just yeah, seemed yeah, like right. I was stuck in this looping Groundhog's Day where I was like, all right, maybe this game will be the game where Paris gets his first goal because I heard he could finish with both feet. I heard he could play anywhere in the front three and on the left. I heard all these things about this Croatian magician, man. And mm -hmm. I've yet to see it. I've seen some nice. He had one good cross today. Uh, 
yeah. one and all the rest yeah. is who the fuck were you sending that to yeah uh like, to be fair that was a beautiful cross the it was one just, you the know, one was, cross that he had yeah, it was just a, t- a tough, a tough shot from Harry Kane to try and put that in the back of the sack. You know what I mean? I thought, th- I thought it was the one that went to Pedro Poro. No, he also had one that Harry Kane headed, uh, and it went, it went wide of, of, of the, the back. Okay, post. so he had two good crosses today. Because mm-hmm. <laughs> there was one that I remember that he did to Pedro Poro. But you're right, I do remember the Harry mm-hmm. Kane hitting it, hitting it yeah. wide with that, with that head of his. So, um, uh, Parker says Kane is not a leader either. Our co-captain, I agree. Uh, he plays different with the armband and he played like he was uninterested today. He scored the yeah. penalty. You know, he's happy to notch another one on that record, chase the golden boot just a little bit more. Yeah. But I, he didn't really play well, like his heart was in it. Let me talk yeah. to me, Leo. What did you think about Hugo? Or no, you go fucking Hugo. What did you think about Harry Kane? Kane? Uh, what do you think about his performance today? Ah, uh, bro, I, I, I think, I think that his mind is elsewhere for right now. Um, I, like you said, I think right now at this point, for the rest of the season, he's just going to be uh, stat padding, just trying to get more goals up there to make sure no other Tottenham player ever catches him if, if that, if that opportunity arises. But Harry Kane is, is, I mean, we. You you alluded to this earlier. We would be shambles if it wasn't for Harry Kane. We would be literally relegation fodder probably without his goals. I mean, 22 goals that's going literally unnoticed because of the likes of a beast named Erling Holland. Uh, now, if Holland didn't make his move over to Manchester City, you know, we're talking about a whole different uh, a whole different atmosphere around you know the whole Harry Kane situation and the conversation. But I I I I got. I feel bad for Harry Kane, and and this is such a this is such a Spursy thing to say, right? I feel bad for this player and that player. I just feel really bad for Harry Kane because <laughs> if anybody deserves if anybody deserves something better out of our club, it's that gentleman right there, bro. A guy that has literally fought and fought and fought and fought yeah. his way to becoming a Spurs player, let alone a Spurs legend. One of the three people that could arguably have a statue outside, like you just said earlier, and and I mean. Personally, myself, bro, I feel so bad for Harry Kane. We we have let him down as as a as a as a club, and I'm saying we because I mean we're we're fans of the club and we support the club, and you know we're just as guilty as everybody else that that is from the 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 directors down. I I just I mean if if he ends up leaving us, bro, which I think is definitely starting to creep in the back of his head. Um he's just been he's just been out of it for a while and um of course you're a goal scorer whenever you get the opportunity you're going to take advantage of it and you're going to celebrate every goal whether you want to be with the club or not. You're going to be happy that you're scoring a goal. Uh that's your job and um yeah, I, I, I just I, I I hate to think about Harry Kane playing against us. I hate to think about Harry Kane and any other type of uh, colors besides the lily white. Um, but I, I, I think that we all have to start to realize that this man is a professional athlete that has ambition, you know, and he he is he is a fighter. You know, he he's he hasn't showed up in the, in the big games when it counts. But I also think we haven't given him enough opportunities to show up in those big games because it's a it's a team effort at the end of the day. And if he's got to be the only one doing it, it's going to take a toll on anybody at that point. One thousand percent. Very well said. Barry and Baxter. Big up. Barry and Baxter says stream getting deep. Love will let you down. It is true. Spurs is my abusive relationship. I should leave, but I don't. I should leave, but I won't. And I never will. Um, because I just yeah. love Tottenham Hotspur too much. It's my fault, but you know what? That's the problem we all run into, right? When we support this beautiful, beautifully disastrous Slap. club. It reminds me of Kanye's album. If you're a fan of Kanye, there's an album out there he made when he was going through heartbreak. A woman named Amber Rose, he fell in love and she did him dirty. And then she was on another rapper named Wiz Khalifa. I'm digressing from football a second, but... <clears throat> There's an album that Kanye West made out of this heartbreak, and it was called My Beautiful Dark Twisted Nightmare, something like that. I don't know if that's exactly what it's called. It's a a confusing-ass name, but it's something along those lines. It's a beautiful album, and I'm wondering 
if Spurs is going to have this moment where out of the ashes rises the phoenix of Tottenham Hotspur and we are transformed in some way, I've often referred to maybe this Conte sacking could be, he could be the martyr to all the change. Look, I, I still got it. I still got it. Conte's oh, with me <laughs> eternally. I got him here in my room. Okay. But maybe he's the martyr we all needed. Maybe we need to see his head roll. Things get wherever they are, and then something might change. And I'm not saying Levy out, Enoch out. I mean, I, if I had my wish, yeah, I'd, I would get Levy the fuck out first because I put someone or not even – see, that's my thing is I'm willing to compromise, not out. Just go to a different office and worry about the fluorescent lights, worry about the paint color, worry about all the bureaucratic bullshit and this naming rights and all the fun go-kart. Do all that. It's great. Make money for the club. But the person writing the check for the football needs to be separated from him. That's where I'm at. That's where I'm at. And I think that's a healthy compromise. Paul Beatty says, surely Hugo will be dropped. I don't think he will. We're too weak to do that. Stellini and Mason, daddy's not home, but they will obey daddy's rules that he posted on the fridge that say no running, that says no shoes in the house, no jumping on the bed. They're going to obey the rules. No subbing on a loney because fuck a loney. These are all the rules that they follow. So surely Hugo will not be dropped. Uh, I don't think Hugo is to blame for the goal. What do you guys think? I half blame him because I've really thought at least leave your damn feet, make it look like you're working. You know, when you have a job and maybe you don't have anything to do at the moment, but your boss says, look busy or else I'm going to find something for you to do. And this is the same thing when you're a keeper. Look busy, damn it. Don't just watch the shot. Move towards the shot. It was a good shot, bro. I'm going to say it again. That was just too good. That was a peach of a shot on me. Uh, why? Is I, I, I don't. I, I don't blame him for not moving, bro. That was just. Yeah, move a little. Move. That's all I'm saying. Move a little. I'm not blaming him completely. It was a good shot. It was a good (laughs) shot. You have people in front of you who should have closed him down. These are all things that I will blame before I blame Hugo. But I don't think he's blame free. I think he gets a little bit of it anyway. Uh, Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, he's paid to stop shots. Paul Beatty says, I reckon Hugo was a big part of the jitteriness at the back that led to pressure that led to the goal. Forrester was much calmer. Um, I do agree though that I would have liked to see Forrester personally instead of Hugo, but Hugo's our captain, so I feel like if he said he's good to go, they're gonna not have to respect it because they're you know, at the end of the day, they're subs, they're not uh, he knew he was walking back into he knew he was walking back into the lineup, anyways. Daddy had told him weeks before that you know, he, Mm -hmm. he made it public. Hugo, when Hugo's fit, Hugo's number one, obey daddy. Obey daddy. Yeah. Them's, the, them's the rules. Cynical dad says there's no way Frazier stopped to watch that go, that ball go past Hugo and he's dropped. That's what I'm saying. At least move. Don't just watch yeah. the damn thing. I've seen Hugo too many times. And I'm a defender. I played keeper. I'm in the goalkeeper's union. As any of you who follow me anywhere know, I'm in the goalkeeper's union. I will fight tooth and nail for my dogs. But also, man, you got to move. You got to at least make a move for it. Uh, that's just my opinion. We all suffer the virus of Tottenham. That's true. Kane just had a new baby. He won't be going anywhere anytime soon, but there's a real risk. He could leave uh, on a free next summer. If we can't convince him to sign a new contract, Potch would convince him to stay. This is a great topic, and I'm going to actually ask you the question, Leo. Um, would you sell Kane, and how much would you sell Kane for if an offer comes in this summer? Or if you don't, he walks next summer. What what do you what are you choosing and where you stand with that? Well, I mean, I have to look at it in in, in I have to look at this in a couple of different ways. Um am I am I keeping him now knowing for sure he's leaving next year? Or am I gonna hold out for a fee? And and if I'm selling Kane, I'm saying, hey, give me give me a hundred, a hundred plus. Or he's not leaving. He has one year left. That's fine. He's still my player. I want this much money. He's my asset. It's what I think he's worth. And that if you want, if you want to pay the money that I'm valuing my player at, then you can take him for what I feel he's worth. Right now, do I believe he's gonna 
leave at the end of the contract if i don't sell him well then i'm going to try and bring somebody in to help me try to persuade him or who knows and this might be the train of thought coming from from daniel levy is am i going to get rid of him now or am i going to see what happens next year and maybe next year you know uh, i mean am i going to hold on to every freaking last hope that maybe next year we'll we'll win an fa cup we'll win a a, a, a league cup or you know who knows we might you don't want either one of those, Leo. We know where he stands. He stands well, top four I mean, or die. I, I and and I agree, but let's just say, even though if we don't prioritize these competitions, anything could still happen, right? We could still make it into the final of a league cup, right? We could still make it into the final of an FA Cup, even if we're not prioritizing these competitions, even if our main focus is top four and pre and, and champions league, we can probably still make make, make something for what it's worth, bro. And so that's what I'm saying. Am I going to sell him now and take a hundred mil pocket about half of it and only deposit the rest of the other half into the team? I mean, I, I, I don't know, bro. I, that, that, that's a tough one, which is why I'm just a fan and I don't own the team because, you know, I, I just feel like, I would, I would, I would hold on to him because uh, he's he's our player and he's he's for me, bro. Being a fan since uh, 2012, 2011, 2012, all I know is is uh, is Harry Kane. You know, well, I mean, first Gareth Bale and then Harry Kane. You know, I've watched this. I've watched this guy grow up in front of my eyes playing, and I would hate to see him go anywhere else. So if if you're not paying, if you're not paying a hundred mil or more. Don't even don't even come to the table, and that's this uh, this this summer. I agree, uh, but I don't think anyone's going to offer a hundred mil just because he has twelve months left. That's my honest I, I, fear. That's my, but if we get an offer for a hundred, I'm entertaining the hell out of that offer personally. Of um, that's Phil, the way. he says, "How long are you going on for, Jacob? My pop on, come on, man, come on, man, come, come on, on man." It. Um, I don't know how much longer we'll go, uh, but if you want to join on, we'll keep going, man. We'll keep the party rolling. Anyone else jumping on, um, we will keep the party rolling. But um, it's, it's interesting. Uh, Paul Beatty here says, same formation, same tactics. Conte will still be managing Spurs until you burn the doll. Maybe that's I, why we I... didn't change tactics was because... <laughs> Can I say that whole thing about the conspiracy theory that I was saying yesterday? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. it, 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 it makes to, to me it makes sense. So uh, as as we all know, we mutually agreed, and I'm going to say mutually agreed to terminate this man's contract. Yet for some reason, his whole staff, his whole staff, is still at the helm at, at at spurs now here's where i think it's it's a little bit it's a little bit fishy um i i think and this is my opinion i haven't seen anything i don't know anything that you guys don't know this is just from me just believe in this i think we never really got rid of Antonio Conte we never mutually agreed anything i think Antonio Conte was just told hey just just stay in Italy. It's best for you to just stay out there at the end of the season. We'll mutually, that's when they'll mutually end end the contract and go their own ways. Because I don't think I don't think they wanted to pay any of the uh the severance pay, right? They didn't want to end up paying his next year if he's not gonna be there. And Conte doesn't want to be with us anymore either. So I think he told I them. I do want to just sprinkle on here your your theory and let you keep going. He also Damn, I just lost it. Keep going. Sorry. I, I was going to keep going, but then I was thinking about what you were saying next. And so I, I I have a problem where I try and like not assume, but preemptively like know where you're going or what you're saying. So then I yeah. can then follow it up with a question. But uh, I apologize. Fair. I cut you off. So keep going. No. So I, I, I think that, like I said, we never really parted ways with Antonio Conte because it would be absurd for a manager to get canned or, or mutually terminated and his backroom staff and his, his number two and everybody still be in charge. So I think that happened and they're waiting until the summer to finally then 
let everything go, which is why I think we're not going to sign a manager until the summertime when we're not contractually, uh, contractually obligated to be paying anybody. And I also have to say, I remember okay, now, no, I remember now. Okay, go ahead. That we were looking, our lawyers, Tottenham Hotspur lawyers were looking into, um, seeing if there was a breach of contract because of his Southampton rant, the epic Southampton rant. They were looking to see if there's a breach of contract they could do to get out of paying him. And this could be why we spent the eight days in limbo. So, yeah. Um, yeah. It, 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 it's all hold on and, and then and then to add to the chair the, add the cherry on top i think this was all a big formulated plan by the don paratici himself bro oh my right God. before he, got, before <laughs> oh he no. got kicked out of the door he, 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 he fabio was like hold on i got it you guys i got it this is how it's gonna go down okay we're gonna hide every we're gonna hide the sun with our hands so nobody could see the sun but it's still going to be there, right? I, I feel like it's one of those situations, bro, where where, where Antonio Conte, that's why his thumbprint or the doll, like how, how Paul Bailey said, the doll is still going to be there until we burn it. And that little fucker, right? And he's going to be there until, you know, until we get rid of him come summertime. And then that's when we would be able to, bro, why would you not go and offer money to Nagelsmann? Why would you not go buy buy out uh, Ruben Amarin's contract and get him? Why would you not do something unless, of course, you can't? Because they you're all still no. contractually obligated. Someone I told, mean, someone told they said no or not. You're right. This is all speculative. But from what of I course, know, from my ITK sources, therefore rubbing off on me, I am an ITK. I'm just kidding. You're at whoever but the fuck dot com. <laughs> shout out at whoever the fuck on Twitter who I, I always reference them because they're a reliable yeah. source at whoever the fuck. Follow them on Twitter if you're not. Um but I did just quickly. Oh. Someone has appeared in the back. And you know what? On the fan shows here, typically you know when the sun's out and I'm doing these fan shows, I do it all professionally and I say and thank you, Leo, for joining us today. And here's a link to your linkity dinkity. And go ahead and. But you know what? Because I am me, and no one can be me other than me. And to be me to the fullest, I must. I must. If it's nighttime, I must make it a party. And you know what? When I open this thing up to a party, there's someone I can only imagine I want to party hardy with. And it's not Phil Coy's yet. It's Paul from hey. Down Under. Hey. How you doing, my friend? I'm good. Uh, good to see you, Jacob. Good, Likewise. Good to see you Likewise. hanging around, Leo. I've just had a That's nice little, uh, I had a nice little sleep because I was just so exhausted after that spectacular display by the London Cox. Hey, one one out of ten finals down, right? Oh fucking hell! I forgot about <laughs> that one, man. We, we've only got ten nine finals. left, so we really got to buckle down on these nine finals now. Are we still in the playoffs? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Paul, how are you feeling, man? Um, not a great time. I I can imagine. We've talked off air a little bit, um, but I just want to ask you off the top. I guess the main bugging question I have tonight is why Lucas Mora and Davinson Sanchez? I don't know. <laughs> You're asking why did me. we stick to the same thing why didn't the kids play when daddy was gone is what i want to know i don't know man it's like yeah kids keep out the booze cabinet and the first thing i got go, 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 go. no <laughs> no there's that yeah. i was <clears throat> i was staggered how the same it was it was i'm sure that the, the to break the curse of conte we need to burn your doll i'm afraid jacob i think it needs to go I don't want to burn it. I'm emotionally attached, Paul. I don't know You're if fine. I'm. I don't know if I'm quite ready yet. Um, but I did star a couple of things. I do want to talk about. Um, so we do keep it Spurs because sometimes uh, when you pop up with Jacob over on United Spurs of America, sometimes I will digress and go into full on conspiracy theories, which. Leo's was on topic, so I'm not going to discredit his conspiracy theory. It's on topic, and it was a very com – it's convincing. It's convincing. Like Area 51, what are they doing? Um, anyway, so I don't want to talk about Area 51 on air. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to bring this comment up, and I need to go refill my water real quick because I'm an unprepared host. 
But uh, Wayne Bonner at 7-Eleven over an hour ago, which real quick before I do go, hit that like, participate in the poll, make sure you subscribe, share the video with your mother, your brother, your cousin, your sister, your auntie, all of them, your nephew, your niece, they all want to watch the Irish Hotspur. So go on ahead and share it about, help these boys get to 10K because there's not a deserving, a more deserving duo, more dynamic deserving duo on YouTube that deserve to get. 10k right now if we if i could do it i would but only you can help me viewers fans subscribers um so do it hit a like help them fight the algorithm it is a constant battle um but i'm gonna go get some water real quick while everyone hits the like and also participates in the poll because don't forget to do that but uh paul i want to leave you with this um as i graciously hand the the questioning over to leo very graciously um he's Wayne Bonner said, I think we'll get Rodgers as manager, even though he's somewhat short-term as he goes. What do you think in Rodgers, Potter? They both got sacked. How are you feeling about the potential Harry Potter in, Rodgers in, the ex-Fox killer? I'd be disappointed in a, in a nutshell. I mean, I think I think um, Brendan Rodgers is an okay manager. He's sort of decent, but he hasn't got that special sizzle. Graham Potter, no. Anyone that... Any, any football manager that has an NBA is not a proper football manager. And they use big fancy words. They're talking to footballers. You've got to keep it nice and simple. And I don't mean the footballers are dumb or anything like that, but they're footballers. You talk football terms to them. You don't say, say psychology and big multiple syllabic words like that. You say, it's in your head, mate. So yeah. I don't, I don't, I'm not excited by either of them. I'd be disappointed with either of them. And, um, you know, I heard the conspiracy theory, Leo. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it was so, so similar to how we've been playing. The same setup, same, like the first half. It was half. the same. It was the same, Paul. The same. It was, it was the same team, same ball, same tactic, same everything. Same. We only played one half. Like, like at the end of the first half, I, I, th- I thought it was quite an entertaining game of football. I didn't think we were brilliant or anything like that. But I thought, oh, this was, this was kind of fun to watch. And then the second half, it was, you know, Tottenham half spurs again. And again, yeah. you know, 70 minutes, 75 minutes before we make a substitution. Like like, uh, like Jacob said, like for like substitutions. Not, not changing anything on the pitch at all, really. Bringing on Lucas instead of Dan Juma. It was just the same old shit. It really was. It was horrible, man. So, okay, yeah. so Leo, so, so, okay, so... So your, consp- your 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 theory is that he's kind of not he's kind of been sacked but not been sacked. So well, so do you think yeah, he's think- taking an active role in? Is he on the phone to Stellini or is he was? was- I mean, I I, I haven't, re- and this is where I need your help to dive into it even deeper, right? I mean, I I feel I just feel that like we haven't really gotten rid of him yet. I think for the for for the way the club needed to continue was to get rid of Antonio Conte just based on what he had said. He had divided the whole fan base, right? He had divided everybody. So I just feel that like the club was kind of Antonio, you put me between the rock and a hard place, buddy. We have to do something right. And let's be real. Levy probably didn't even want to get rid of this guy. Excuse me. But knowing the fact how everything went down, if he didn't get rid of him, People were going to freaking riot, probably. I mean, I might be, it might be a stretch to say that, but you, you get where I'm going with this. Yeah, People yeah. would have been ticked up about the whole situation. So I, I just feel that, like, yeah, of course, of course, Delini's been on the phone with Antonio Conte. The, Antonio Conte probably set up this team for all we know well. it, it, until we're able to see, you know, a lot of times <laughs> stuff gets leaked where, you know, Oh, here's the contract. It's I mean, how, how did we get the information leaked that he had he had signed the extension already? It was our decision to therefore uh, to, to to pick up that one year option. Shit like this comes out in the in 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 the public all the time, right? I want to see where they mutually split 
I want to see where they mute. I want I want the source to come out and show or to prove that they mutually decided to part ways because they can't. They did not mutually. They 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 mutually agreed that Antonio Conte should not be publicly around and should not be seen publicly. Should not be in the locker room. They probably told him just stay in just stay in in Italy. You know what I mean? And if he comes back to London, he's going to be spotted right away. Don't get me wrong. So they probably told him you know zoom in zoom in, in at halftime. Hey, what what do you think? Maybe. What should we do? Maybe. And that's he said, oh, bring on Davison Sanchez and Lucas. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Oh, dude. When Sanchez came on, I'm just thinking, why would you do that? You've got five chances, substitutions to, like you said earlier, Jacob, to change what's going on, you know? Change the yeah. formation, change the style of play. And it was Davison Sanchez for, for, for Longley? How's that going to Yeah, how does that affect or help us in any way? That does not at all. That 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 is not at all a sign of putting your foot on the neck of your opponent, right? While he's down, that's a sign of saying, "Okay, I've knocked you down. I'm coming back to my corner. You get up, get the ten count or whatever, come back, and let's start over. Meet at the middle of the ring again." But even in UFC, you got to go for that kill shot. You hit him once. And you stun them, right? And they're looking a little wobbly, a little out on their feet. You got to go for the kill shot. You got to get another goal, make it 2-0. Now, okay, Sanchez for whoever the fuck. It doesn't matter. But Lucas Mora winning, losing makes zero sense to me, bringing Lucas Mora You give him a little bit dizzy, and then Davis and Sanchez runs out with the smelling sorts and and, and revives them. (laughs) Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. Who's at fault for their goal? Uh, Paul, or was it just a matter of... Uh... I'm just trying to remember it. So, uh, like, like I said in a comment, the, the interplay between the defence and, and Hugo was terrible. And I it was horrible to watch, you know, when they were passing it around. And then Hugo mm-hmm. would do a hospital pass to Romero. Or then at one stage, he just booted the ball off an uh, off Everton player out for a corner. And looking at that guy, oh, Hugo's got to move. Yeah, I mean his feet. His feet were just planted there, man. I mean that was just. I think he. I think he thought the ball was going wide. He just didn't look like he was. Yeah, he clearly thought it was going wide. He didn't move. Nah, but that's that's man. to me is like, when it's a fifty-fifty moment like that as a keeper, to me, I always win for, for it. Good, I always went for it because the people looking back to see if that went in, That's at it. least they see my ass on the grass like it was a banger. What am I going to do? You yeah. know what I mean? But the fact that he just – my teammates hated if I did that. So yeah. to me, yeah. it's a pride thing. I don't know. Cynical dad says leave people piss about trying to save some quid and miss every one of these available managers. Uh, it must have been about something else. Um, don't know what this – means oh but... that's about a uh, grand potter mm. magnus carlson's cool. first chess teacher general manager of simon agudistein oh, mm. was a pro footballer in norway in the 80s and played for the national team very nice thank you for that rabbi i did not know any of that about grand potter i just know he hasn't succeeded at any level whether or at the level of Premier League, excuse me, not any level. I'm sure he's a lovely guy. He's got a lovely family. I'm sure he did well scholastically, he's academically. He's been failure in every aspect of his life. Is that what <laughs> I, I just meant that he does not um, move the scale for me because what did he do with Brighton? He made them decent. Okay, what did he do when he took a step up, an arguably too big of a step up? What did he do? Nothing. He got sacked. Now they're on yep. their third manager in one season. I don't want him at yeah. the club. No. And I don't want Rodgers either, you know, and, and you know, the saddest thing about it is if Roger never manages another, uh, another uh, game in the premier league, his last win would have been a four, one uh, thumping. of Versus Tottenham us. Oscar. Wow. Isn't that lovely? As soon as you started saying their last premier league, anything, I was like, it's going to be something with us be being up. getting shitted on four, <laughs> one God, um, Aussie 12, big up Aussie 12. Uh, says Potter, another ex Chelsea manager who yeah. never wanted to come to Spurs. Wayne Bonner, Dan Juma is a pointless loan and waste of money. Why bring him in and not play him? Laughable yeah. and not in a funny way. To me, this is the point that I've been making all the evening here on the Irish Hotspur. Please hit like and subscribe. The point that I've been making here is why, why Lucas Moore, dude? 
Why did we do the same thing with Conte's here, dude? Because At what point do we learn? Man. Oh, big up, tricky one. Wow, this is between, a late one. Yep, this is late one. This is between, a late one. Between your doll and, and, and Leo's conspiracy, I think there's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> That's why yeah. we're going to bring on Lucas. But to go back yeah, to whose fault was the goal, it was our fault for not scoring another one for a start. Um, and you could see it coming. You could see Everton's going to score. You could just see it. You could just feel it. We were sitting back. We were just playing without any spunk. Yeah. Yeah. Everton uh, looked the better team that's... all game long, guys. Everton that... looked the better team all game long, yeah. even with 10 men. Yeah, that's just, that's the saddest uh, part about it. And you know what? Harry Kane, man. See, this – I, I don't... Okay, I understand he gets tapped in the face, but don't go down like a sack of shit like that, you know? Watching I mean, it live, though, it. he did smack and squeeze the hell out of him. He did. But he did do that. Did he really take one yeah. in the chin, or was it just a huh? I got a picture it like of a, it. Like I'm going to upload it like, right now. Oh, well, what? You go down from that, do you? Come on. Nah, that's weak. That's weak. Like you that. know that's just become the norm. I think that's just become like the norm in in, in football nowadays. Yeah. Which which I guess also is, is, there, is, there, uh, I do agree with you, Paul. There is a little bit of that. Okay, he brushed me. His hair whisked my lips. Therefore, I'm going to go down with a face injury. But look at this. I want you to look at this photo and tell me if you feel different. Um, real quick, I am going to star this tricky one. This is a great comment. Um, I am going to star this. But let me let me pull this up for you, Paul. See if this changes your mind at all. Fingers in the eyes. That's not even legal in fighting. UFC, you get point deducted for that. And that's a serious offense. And in a fighting league, this man's got two fingers in his eyes, clawing him as if he's Kurt Zuma's cat trying to get out of the bathtub. That's not okay. I'm like going down. And this is the yeah, thing. Right. I do want to say real quick. I, I, I do have a little something to say about this. The whole match... Kulisevsky, within five minutes, took a whacking in the face, and then when they played it back, he got hit across the face, and they grabbed him. And the second time it happened, um, let me look who it was. I can't, I'm trying to remember who it was, but then this was the third time that I remember it happening. And they were just, man, they were playing dirty. They were playing They were diking. They were diking out there. I'm trying to think who Ooh, it was. Ooh, the Fury 5 Venom shit, aren't they? Just, whoa. I think it was Parasage. Well, I, I think it was Parasage. Too. It was really fast. It wasn't yeah, like a slow, a smack like, in the face. It was It was thrown like a jab. I don't blame Kane for going down and rolling okay. around either. Because also, that's the game we're playing. Real quick, we do have some super chats. I want to say what's up. Don't want to take too much longer. It says, uh, Dermatron, THFC Till I Die. Big up, brother. Hey, big up. It says, big up, guys. What a mess. Yeah, man, if you want to come on and party with us, I just, I'm doing this fan show a little different because things are a little different with Tottenham right now, but they're not different. So it, it isn't different because it's the same fan show here on the Irish Hosper hosted by me, but it is a little different because I'm, I'm just making it a party tonight. We're late night tonight. Big up for the super chat. I'm going to star that. Make sure I say thank you at the end as well. Big up THFC till I die. If you haven't subscribed there, then what are you doing? To quote the man box office himself, if you don't know, get to know. Go check out THFC till I die as well. Um, and another super chat as well. Two super chats tonight. Big ups. We're, we're hitting it up. Y'all going to make David love me. Come on now. Um, Adrian Chia. Big up Adrian Chia. Says big up lads. Wonder who, uh, who the players are going to blame now. Um, that's the thing. We don't really have a manager. We have a two-headed monster, a Malini, a Masolini, a Maslini, or a Stalason. I think Stalason rolls off the tongue Stalason. better. So we've got manager Stalason in the house. Um, Christian and Ryan, Chris Ryan, Stel Stalason, Chris Ryan, Stalason. Antonio Stalason. <laughs> You may as well be Antonio as well. <laughs> Antonio um, Stelaison. <laughs> I'll just I'll throw this question around to the panel. Um real quick. Big up Adrian Chia. Thanks for the super chat. Um anyone else, if you do want to super chat or get your membership, come on the show, shoot the shit with us, and talk your Tottenham woes away. Um, go ahead and hit that membership button. It's right there. Click join. It's right next to subscribe if you're on desktop. And if you're on mobile, I have no idea. So I don't know, but if you're on mobile, I don't know. But if you're on desktop or whatever, TV, it's right there. You could just hit join, get the link, come on, have your say. 
um, not just with me, but when Jack and David do this throughout the week as well. Um, who are the players going to blame, Paul? Uh, well, what can they blame? They could probably blame the hostile crowd at Everton. You know, they weren't they weren't very nice to them. Um, Eric Dyer will probably blame anyone because you know he thinks it's funny to lose. Um, I mean, I, 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 whenever I see him on the pitch, I just want him to break a leg and never play for Tottenham again. After that clip of him saying. You know, the the interview where he's laughing about Spurs. I mean, I can only think of if you said something like that to Graham Roberts, you'd be mm-hmm. picking up your teeth. But you couldn't say it to Graham Roberts because he did win things with Tottenham because he wasn't such a fucking pussy like you, Eric Dyer, who's on the pitch. If you weren't such a dick, we might have won something and you wouldn't have anything fucking to laugh about. Mm-hmm. So, Instead, he's laughing, giddy like he's a little kid. Ooh, Dave yeah, Portnoy's is making I'm fun of the team I play for, and you know I'm a loser. And <laughs> I, I hate it, bro. I, I hate it. It's horrible. It is horrible to see a, a professional footballer behave like that. This is what I was talking about here, Rabbi. You were you're reading the vibe. You're you you're smelling what I'm stepping in, brother. It says also Godfrey did the same to Kulu. Yeah, it was like within. I remember. It was really early yeah. on. It might have been the first 30 seconds. I said first five minutes, but you're right. It probably was like the first two minutes. He just smacked and grabbed Kulu. Not even a yellow. Not yeah. even a yellow. That's a Christian Romero move. You go out there, you put something nasty on him. Well, and go, what did Kulu do the rest of the game? Fucking nothing. As you said, yeah. that shit is not even legal in MMA. Exactly. It's atrocious. There was three different times where I remember seeing a replay where they smack our player and drag their hands across his face. And and when they cut to Kulu and you saw his face, it Brent. looked like he just got punched. Yeah, yeah. That's fucking well, I think, I think, I think, I think Sean Dyche might have just said to his players, this lot of soft, and he's right, and it worked. Yeah, that's what Jose said. He said, y'all are too nice. Anytime someone starts pushing, you say, how hard do you want me to fall over, sir? Yeah. It's like, yeah. no, you're supposed to push back, you little, come on, man. See, and that's uh, a bad part, that's bad quality to have as a, as a team because when you're getting when you're getting a uh, game planned against, you know these coaches are and these managers are telling their players put that fucking front foot forward and tackle the shit out of them. You know what I mean? Or or just yeah, be rough forward. with them. I agree. With you, we were, we were, you know, it's, it was a, it was. A, I don't know. I, I'm kind of not as upset as I usually am because we're just shit. That's that's just it. We're just shit. That's it. Fuck it. <laughs> very well said paul i couldn't agree more uh when kane was punched in the face it was actually the third time in the game that ever yeah yeah exactly you're reading exactly okay. i'm glad i'm not I the only that, one okay. who saw that because there was three times at least that i remember one was to Kulu, and i think the second one rabbi was it cooler or was it parasic and or the second one Kulu was the first one it was parasic or was it it wasn't Sun. I can't because if it was Sun, I would. Anytime someone puts their hands on Sun, I get, I get angry. I get so violently angry. Um, mm-hmm. I actually shoot up out of my chair and I f- start huffing my chest as if I'm one of the lads because honestly, you don't touch Sun. Um, I digress. Yeah. I don't even remember what I was talking about. But uh, who was the second one? Does anyone remember? I think it was Perisic. I do. Um, I'm all for a bit of gamemanship from our players if it helps Spurs. With a bit more of that, we might have won the title under Poch. Good, good point. Uh, yeah. The fact is, as a team, we've been far too nice for far too long. Spot on. Yeah. Spot on, Liam. Um, Lee, I think it's Lee. I keep saying Lee. I like this next comment here. It's pretty funny, bro. <laughs> if Eric Dyer broke his leg, <laughs> real quick, I did. Did anyone see how everyone was big up being Dyer? For just getting hit in the face with the ball, they're like, "Good job, fucking standing there." Everyone's yeah. coming up, patting him. Good on you. Yeah, he just fucking was standing there and like turned his head, was like, "Huh?" Yeah. And then was like, yeah. everyone's like, "Yeah, oh. but, mm, Eric, come on, give me that booty. I'm about to spank it because just come on, I want to congratulate you. Bring that thing on over here." And I was like, "What the hell is this man just standing there?" Even the announcer was like, "I don't think Dyer knew much about it." They play the replay. He's like. Damn. <laughs> God, yeah. help us. Uh, 
Like really, that's 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 how we're operating. Uh, it, it was infuriating. Thar doesn't know what a tackle is or a clearance. No, he yeah. knows. He knows who wants the ball. Who's not wearing the same shirt as me? They get the ball. He's a sharing kind of guy. Uh, it's very frustrating. Um, Dice knows we're soft. Yeah, there you go. Everyone's calling it. I mean. At this point, it is. Yeah, it was Perisic. Onana smacked him. I do remember Onana being the the perpetrator of the second one, and it was versus Perisic. Thank you for that, Tyler. Um, don't remember who was the victim the second time. It was around the midfield circle. Yeah, so I think it was Perisic, and it was, in fact, Onana. Um, CF says, do I need to pay for a membership to get on? Typically, that is how these work. Um, here on the Irish Hotspur, um, you know what? I don't think we're gonna go too much, too too much longer. I'm just gonna put the link in the chat. If you want to come in and yell about Tottenham for a second, revolution, brother, do it for free. This will probably be the only <laughs> yeah. time you can do that. They're gonna shut it down. They're gonna uh, shut me cool. down. But you know what? I feel like sometimes you just gotta scream into the ether. Um, so there's one and done, right? Yeah. Typically, yeah, I would encourage you to buy the membership, but I'm not going to go too much longer. And plus, when you get the membership, you also get like one on one time with Dave and Jack, and you do like another fan show. Uh, this is a little bit more relaxed tonight. Um, I just think Tottenham give us enough enough to worry about. So I went ahead and put the link. There it is. Um, we'll probably go for maybe, I don't want to go more than two hours. So that's 20 minutes tops from now. Um, that we will go. Um, B ball says, I think refs are making a statement with Spurs. They play too soft, always looking for fouls instead of playing. The ref really was kind of letting it go tonight. What did y'all think about that? Mm -hmm. I, I like that though, honestly. I like when the ref, but I mean, it, it, this is a good point. We do play too soft, our players are too soft. We will crumble like a lawn chair at the first sign of adversity. Oh, I don't most blame people him. know if they're. Most people know if they're fouling us outside of the fucking box anyways, Harry Kane's going to put the ball into the wall, so they don't give a fuck. They're fouling wherever, bro. Yeah, they're like, who took the who took the free kick last time? If it was anyone other than Kane, he's definitely taking the next one. Uh, yeah. And it's just going to hit us in the feet. God, it's, it's terrible. Um, Tyler here says, Sar needs to start next game. Same with Dan Juma. Sar, I don't know. Maybe. I would like I to see him Ryan. come on. I would like to – against Brighton, here's the thing. I don't even care about the results so much anymore as I'm like, let Sar get a good 30 minutes versus a quality Premier League side and let him grow. That's what happened when we threw him into the water full of crocodiles. Um, that's what he did. So he, he was all right. Oh, here we go. Here's somebody. Phil was cracking. Oh, 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 oh hey, man. Look at that. We're having a party over here. Is that your boss back there? You all mate? He says, is that your boss there behind you? Your boss? No, 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 no. That's all right. Night shift, man. There's no bosses around. Talk to me, Phil. How you feeling? 1-1 at Goodison Park. Was it was it good to just squeak out of there with a win? Did we deserve to lose maybe? Or do you think that we should have walked out with all three points? Um... Bit, bit of a shit show, really. Um, we played some good football, um, but one-one was probably a, a fair result in in my eyes. Um, same shit players doing the same shit things. Um, you know, we just can't see out games. We've got no leaders in this team that can actually yeah. rally the players and get and, and get them through a win at the minute, and that's been our problem for a good number of years. Because we we we've never had a captain, um, you know. Ever since Fleddy King, Dawson, them types of players, and like back in the day, Graham Roberts and them sort of players, you know, we haven't had a leader um, in the team for a good while, and, and that's costing us. Absolutely, um, damn right, Phil. There's no men on the pitch, is there? No. no. The, Here's the thing: is the, the, the pussies, mate. When it yeah. gets hard, and when it gets tough. In the, latter, in the latter stages of the game, when they need to see a game out, they can't do it. They can't do it. It's something like mentally or, you know, they, ju they just fold. They fold every time. And, and 
I, I said before the game, I thought it would be 3-0 to us. I thought it would be a reaction from the players. Um, That's funny. I thought it would be a 1-0 loss. That's what I predicted. I predicted a 1-0 loss. We were going to play this. I, I, my head said we'd play the same shit that we've been doing, playing Sun and Kulisevsky as left and right midfielders rather than wingers. And then, I mean, the, the tactics, I'm not going to sit here and say Conte tactics don't work. Because I am not yeah. um, astute enough to say those kinds of things, first and foremost. But I do think when it comes down to it, um, they're just not being played to their strengths. And we're stuck in this rigid system. Um, so that, that to me, has got to be the most frustrating part for me. I'm going to really hate these tactics. I hate having six at the back, two men in midfield, and three up front. Tottenham Hotspur don't play with... We're playing with no midfield. We've been playing it like that for ages. And, and that's yeah. not the way we play. We don't play without a bloody midfield. And that's what we're doing. And it just doesn't bloody work. I didn't see any difference tonight. When Stellini and took charge tonight, <clears throat> I, I saw no. no difference in the team whatsoever. Formation-wise and the style of play... There was no difference. Even the substitutions were like contests. The only difference, the only difference I would say that maybe I saw was there was like two and a half minute spurts here and there where we kind of pressed hungry. We pressed kind of hungry, but we did that under Conte had, some. No, but no, like we had that Conte Jacob. I thought I thought we had little spurts here and there, and then we yeah. Peter out. Do you know what I mean? That's the thing is we don't maintain that. But the one person. I think he has to buy into the press, and if he doesn't, it's going to fail, is Harry Kane. And I thought from the first minute, he's running around like it's fucking the 70th, 80th minute. And I'm like, bro, press him. There's another time Pickford, his name Pickford, right? He's just picking his nose at the mm -hmm. top of the keeper box, yeah. just standing there. Bro, if you would have pressed him 30 seconds, if you would have pressed him 30 seconds ago, <laughs> he might have been yeah. able to nick a little cheeky something, something. That's just how I feel. Uh, real I don't quick, think he can. I don't think he can do that press anymore, to be honest with you. Yeah, I think clearly. He, so let's move his I don't ass think he even wants to. Cam. Move his no, ass I don't think he even wants to. Um, real quick, I do want to welcome in CF. Hello, my friend. With the Cleveland Browns beanie. Um, hey. Repping the Cleveland Browns. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. How are yes, you feeling? Yes, sir. Hey. Uh, well, thank you, first off and foremost, for having me on here. Um, I am... I am Ken Ohio. I am a Browns fan, and it typically seems to be the Browns are almost in line with the Spurs in their disappointment. So <laughs> somehow I became uh, a massive fan of both the teams that are just continuously disappointing, unfortunately. But let's take a step back here for a minute here. We have we have a great lineage at Spurs, or we did anyway. Um what I think everybody's been saying this evening has been correct. It's been about spot on. Uh, when I, I was at work, fortunately, for this game, and um, when I got home, and my buddy, he, he constantly, when, I, when he knows I'm at work, he texts me all, the, he, like, a play-by-play, -play basically, of, like, how the team's performing, how, you know, this or that, how we're looking, what he thinks is going to happen. And uh, I'll tell you what. Um, uh, I, I'm just disgusted by the 3-3 to Southampton and all of these games we dropped, even going back to Mora, even going back to, you know, uh, all, all these goddamn games that we we dropped points for for no reason. And it's all due to the same thing. You know what I mean? It, it's just like a lack of aggression. And I think it was Paul that put a little video out one day um, about just attacking the the – the ball, you know, attacking the ball and, and stopping the ball. What is so is hard your about Davinson, that? I think it was the Davinson Sanchez defense tactics video, Paul. Oh, yeah, I think it, it might have been. It, it, he said he <laughs> said step forward and bite the cock off is what he said. And I thought that was hilarious. But like he's right, you know, he's absolutely right. And I watch these videos and I think about like NFL defensive backs. Like you can watch these people backpedal at twenty miles an hour and then snap up on a ball or snap up on a pass. And that's what they don't do. 
You know, like nobody snaps up on the ball. And we watched that, you know, the guy hit a nice shot today. He hit a great shot, but he was in open space and he was allowed to move into that space because nobody came up on the ball. And it's just like, why are we like, is there like some sort of fundamental coaching difference that like we just don't understand or what's going on? I don't know. It reminds me of Leicester city when Eric Dyer refused to take a step forward towards the nacho. And right. he just was like, what are you going to do? What are you going to Where are you going? Uh, I'm over here. I'm over and then here. It's, and, and, then, then, and then the ball's shooting by him in the net. And it's like, exactly. why? Just you, it, any sport, every sport kind of has the same principles as far as like an athletic position and as far as like how you're supposed to play something. And I know like sometimes like maybe you don't want your center center back coming up to snap on a ball. You, you know, your midfielder, you know, you want somebody coming around. But like at the same time, like nobody seems to ever step up and just play the ball and let they let that field them that margin play and all of a sudden a goal gets ripped off and it's like well that was a sweet goal and it's like no that shouldn't have been if you saw sanchez night i I think that guy's diabolic honestly but if you saw sanchez when that goal got hit he threw his hands up and was just like looking around like why did they why didn't either of you two pointing at hoivier and skip at the time like, why did neither of you two step up to this? I know Skip was, you know, flopping around on the ground, but Hoybier was almost nowhere to be found. And so it's like, what, what is the answer, and what, what do we do? Yeah, with that, with that goal, on with, on with Leo on this one. I know uh, Paul and Jacob said that Larice should have moved for that shot, but I thought it was a sweet strike. I did. I thought, I thought that was right in the corner. Uh, I think he, he's better back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, Skippy should have got out and got to him and pressed him. That 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 was the that was a fault for the goal. But with the strike, I don't think uh, Lloris could have done much about that. He might he might not have done much about it. And I I was talking to my buddy who's also a massive Spurs fan. We're like brothers with Spurs here uh, in Canton, Ohio. Um, and I, he said the same thing. He said there was nothing Lori could have done. But I was like, you know what? He could have at least dove. He could, and, and maybe it was too fast. Maybe and the ball was, you know, it had some movement. And it was a beautiful strike. There's no doubt about it. But you know, Hoybier was way off. Skip was way off. Sanchez was running up, almost trying to make up ground. It just seemed like there was a mess. It was a big mess. You know, yeah. so many times our defenders play. So many like times, their and that's, what's, made of that's what I can't stand about this. <laughs> yeah. So from Jacob, all the time. You know, when we when we um, when we were eleven men and they had ten men and we were one nil up, why why are we taking uh, long layoff um, and bringing on Sanchez? <laughs> why not, why not go for the go for the jugular, go for the kill? You know, that's one hundred percent the point. Re- 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 exactly, CF. CF I'm gonna go mute your jugular. mic. I think I've got some like. I think you're listening to it, and I can hear. An echo when Phil or when anyone's talking. So just if you're playing it on YouTube or something, just go ahead and unpause it and then unmute yourself. Well, Phil, what, you're saying why did we bring on Davinson Sanchez and why did uh, we? Well, it, to me, it was like they uh, they just settled for the one nil. They didn't want to go for you know for the second and kill the game off. It was like you know they were just going through the motion. And then when it got to like 70 minutes, it was like, you know, the, the, the pressure was off. Lucas got sent off. Mm-hmm. And then they just come up, come on to us. They were the better team with, with the 10 men, I thought. Yeah. It, was like, it was like the other way around. They had 11 men and we had 10. It was ridiculous. Yeah, yeah I think that's what Leo was talking about a little bit earlier. He was saying that um, whenever we went – we whenever we were up a man that we started playing like we were actually down a man and just shelled up and just said do what you got to do and hopefully we can stop it and if time tells me anything no in fact we will not stop it (laughs) i mean it it seems to me that they've just checked out his players they don't don't give a shit this season they've just checked out and they, they just want the season to be over. That's what didn't, it looks like. Didn't Dyer, after the Southampton game, didn't he blame the fact that our attackers didn't score more? He was oh, like, he'll yeah, 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 fucking blame anyone but himself. I'm like, my guy, y'all conceded three. 
You guys saw that stat today, though, right? That our, I don't know if you saw it earlier when Irish Hotspur was doing their thing, um, or with Dave and Jack, but somebody posted that if you took away t- Harry Kane's goal contributions, and I know, you know, right. obviously there would be replacements and maybe the defense would be a bit better and you can't, like, put all in the same thing, but if you took away Harry Kane's goal contributions this season, we'd be sitting, like, a point above relegation, like – that's not good, you know. No. Like the, uh, the that's relying that way we, too much. The argument that we are okay just because we're in fourth, maybe third, to me, I don't buy it because when we were all the matches that we did win, it wasn't convinced. It wasn't like a okay, this is our style, this is who we are, etc. It's et cetera, never convincing. Real quick, I I do gotta um, I do gotta end this stream very shortly. Um, But before I do that, I do want to go around the panel and just have you have one last rant. I'll give you the time and the space, and if everyone could just let them. Um, So, Phil, it looks like you're joining us from work, and for me, that dedication puts you into first. So I will (laughs) let you go first, my friend, and you you, you just take a minute or two, whatever you need, and just let it out, my friend. To be fair, I think I've I've got it off my chest now. I think... (laughs) You know, uh, the, the, <laughs> this team is is checked out. As I said, um, to be fair, there's there's still a lot to play for. We still can get fourth. We're in that fourth spot. But to me, you know, the players need to step up a bit more. I I, I wanted a reaction um, last night, and and we didn't get one. Um, so Brighton up next. Um, I, I I had two tickets for the game. Me and my mate were going to go. Um, but I'm not so sure now at, at the minute. Um, Is it at the Amex? It, no, it's at, um, the, 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 uh, at home. It's at home. Yeah. Um, well, we could still lose but, that. So. But yeah, I mean, you know, there's still a lot to play for. But I, I, I'm not holding up much hope for this team at the minute. I'm, I'm at my loose ends now. Fair enough. Fair enough, Phil. Well, thank you so much for joining. You don't have to leave. I'm not kicking you out. I'm just going to keep keep it moving on to the next member. Leo, you've been with, here with me since the beginning of this show. Damn yeah. near two hours now. Um, if there's anything else that you haven't said yet that you want to get off your chest, or if you just want to say, uh, I do have your channel plugged in right here. Yeah. So just Big go up, ahead. Thank Whenever you. you finish your final thought, just go plug your channel if you want to. Yeah, well, I mean, like I said, I think there is a conspiracy theory going on at Tottenham Hotspur. <laughs> We're all still watching it. We're being made to look like some buffoons. Um, and uh, I just want you guys to know that I smell something in the air, and it ain't Smells. the skunky smell around here. It's definitely, it's it's that definitely Colorado something smell, going man. on over there. Um, but no, no, I'll, I'll bullshit aside. I really, uh, I feel like ever now more than ever, we all need to be on the same page as Spurs fans, um, and we all want to want the same outcome at the end of the day, which is to see our team, you know, progress, not not regress or digress. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's hope for top twelve this year. That's all I could say. You know, at least we're gonna make it in the top twelve, uh, yeah. and you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be mad about that. We should finish in the top 10 at least is my hope yeah. at this juncture. Real quick, um, if there's two of y'all out there, if y'all two of y'all can click this link, go subscribe to Mile High Hotspur, I promise you, you will not regret it. If y'all could do that for me, just two of y'all. There's 29 watching, 30 people watching. Big up, Big up every single one of you. Hit the like. Go on over. Click that link. Just subscribe real quick to Mile High Hotspur. Let's show him some love. Show him that we appreciate what he's doing. Because, Leo, uh, Leo, I do appreciate you joining me. And Parker was in the chat Parker. earlier. There's two great lads over there running that channel. So go and show them some love. Show them the I- – give them an Irish welcome. I know it's an Irish goodbye that people like the to talk Irish about. Way, but no yeah. one talks about the Irish welcome. Yeah. And real quick, I just uh, – thank you for, thank you for that, Jacob. I appreciate you, my homie. I want to say to to CF, I really like your scarf, bro. As you could tell, I, I have a collection going. So Don't I need send to him get your address because he'll you. come hunt you down and take it off. You know? <laughs> yeah. Those are the well, skills. Those are his skins. You know what I mean? Yeah, those are my skins. Like his, right his trophy yeah, yeah. room is where he's hey, at. I want to know how to get This is Ak- Akron Canton, Ohio Spurs right here chapter. So, my well, friend, on, if hang, you want to come I grab one, you got to come grab it and earn it, buddy. CF. <laughs> Don't tempt him. He'll fly out there. Ask Milwaukee Spurs. Um, 
But I do want to say, uh, whenever I end the show, just hang in the back and, and, and we can chat real quick at the end. But Paul, now is your time, my friend. You got. I, I feel like I didn't get enough Paul time, if I'm honest. But ah, it is getting please. late in the day over here in the States. So um, I do want to give you your moment to shine because, honestly, you don't need much of it because you shine the whole time, my friend. Oh, oh that, that makes me glow. <clears throat> No, I, I think it's going to be interesting what might happen at the next home game because, um, you know, I'm hearing more and more, what I, for want of a better word, moderate Spurs supporters um, that aren't really Levy out and Enoch out. This, they're, they're shifting, especially after this Paratici, Paratici uh, debacle. Paratici. 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 Yeah. There's, there's, there's more and more... Ordinary men in the street, Spurs fans, just getting the total shits with this club, and I think um, I think a lot more people are reaching their tipping point now, and I think we might see some um, interesting scenes at the Brighton game. I mean, it's driving us all crazy, you know. You, we've got we've got Leo saying, "Why was Antonio Conte in Fort Worth in 1963?" You know, that's the <laughs> that's the level. He's the man. Yeah, we know, we know where he fired the bullet so quick. He's reload. Ah, see, si, grazie, grazie, you know. So, uh, this I, club. Yeah, this is a club. This club. You can change just, the manager, but they don't want to change the nothing. Like, I just, I, you I really just ripped this, our ass, huh? I just want this whole three years, four years of shit football to be over. And I just want yeah. a manager that plays fucking four at the back and a midfield. I really do. I'd love to see that again because it could work, you know. And I, I want Levy to to go before he 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 envisage, he realizes his grand plan of you know Tottenham Hotspur is just a brand, and Tottenham Hotspur is home of the Spurs Football Club. Because I was I was horrified the other day when I, I was looking at uh, old football uh, program covers, and he used to say Tottenham Hotspur. And for the last God knows how long, it's, I didn't know this, but it just says Spurs. So I really think they're trying to distance the name of the football team from the overall concept of the club. It's horrible. Anyway, that's my that's my. That's an interesting theory. conspiracy theory. I kind of yeah, like yeah. it as well. I want to dive into it more. It's an interesting thought. Another um, time. Another, another time. time. We, we tease them. Let them and lick then, their lips in anticipation. Yeah. Also, let Big Brother listen tease big brother a little bit say hey big brother hit that like and subscribe while you're here uh cf it was very nice to meet you it was short and sweet my friend but um you got any pine final i was gonna say final parting pots but do you have any final parting thoughts <clears throat> um i don't know about final thoughts but <laughs> i do have some final thoughts and uh i would just like to kind of toss this out here i've been saying this all season long and i don't want to get too deep into it but do you guys ever watch other teams play like do you ever uh, watch like lesser like lower teams play yeah i love it and oh, yeah, okay. do you ever do you ever watch these games and be like wow this is like exciting you know yeah. like it's like, like if did I would, you watch Brentford and Brighton the other yeah. day isn't that no, kind that of like a, a fun game. game to watch it was very fun i had a great it, time i had fun watching united versus newcastle also that was a fun game yeah. that was a fun game like and, and even they're you know upper you know even they're very close to us they're they're well, mash with us, us right now but one's above, yeah, one's above us. i'm just talking of you know what i mean sometimes like i watch like lesser teams play that i don't think it's gonna be like shit and then i watch the game and i'm like wow this is a lot more exciting than what i've seen all season out of spurs and that's i guess oh, yeah. my only thought you know and um i don't need to go deeper into it because we're all feeling the same thing the same yeah, sentiment the at pool. this point but we all know the temperature yeah so um I don't know. It's just, it's sort of weird watching lesser teams play exciting football and we just play this dross football constantly. And it's, uh, it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it does hurt. Big up cursor right here while we end in just over two hours. Cursor popped up. You got a Chelsea fan. I'm not even going to read these acronyms, but he says, Big up Jacob's just showing some love on the channel. Big up yourself. Thanks for coming in, hitting that like for me, my friend. It means a lot. 4 05 a.m. in London right now. Phil. How you holding up? Yeah, all good, man. I've only got two hours left, so yeah, all okay. good, man. Just at the final straight now. You better be you off know. work tomorrow, homeboy. Say again, mate. 
you better be off work tomorrow, homeboy. <laughs> yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm on another night shift tomorrow, and then I'm off for ten days. So all's remember, well, man. Michael, nice brother, uh, nice brother. Michael, the other oh, half of United Spurs of America, he when he o helped open the Amazon warehouse here in El Paso, he uh, he had to work some of them overnight shifts, and it was like. That's tough stuff. That's tough stuff. That's no joke. Um, so yeah, I've, 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 I've been a welder here. for eight years until I got into sales. So, yeah, I, I put those 12s in. I've worked all those nights. I get it, dude. It's it's not easy. Paul yeah. and John are sitting pretty out there in Sydney, Australia at 105. Yeah, Paul. Is, I bet Paul. Yeah, Paul, dude. I, I need to come hang out with him, man. Yeah, he's the guy. <laughs> yeah. He's the man. But anyway, that's going to do it for me and for the Irish Hotspur tonight. I hope um, if you did watch this on replay or you watch this live, I hope it did bring you a little bit of laugh, a little bit of comfort during these trying times as a Tottenham Hotspur supporter. Again, um, this is the Irish Hotspur. I'm Jacob, one half of United Spurs of America. That's Leo with Mile High Hotspur. That way is Leo with Mile High Hotspur. We got Phil, CF, and Paul. I want to thank you all for joining me this evening. I want to thank every single one of you in the chat this evening. Y'all have made the show tick and run as, as, as you do every time. Uh, when y'all loyally show your support here um, at the Irish Hotspur. So I do want to highlight a couple comments real quick. Big up, THFC Till I Die, Dermatron Ellie, and Philip Brady. Big up yourselves. If you can, go I over go there and those. subscribe to THFC Till I Die as well. I'm going to refresh to see not one person went over there and subscribed to Mile High Hotspur. I just asked for two. He, I just want to see him hit a nice <laughs> even number, just two two subs. That's all I ask. If y'all could do that by tonight or tomorrow, that'll be fantastic. So please do that. And then also I want to say yeah. a big shout-out to Adrian Chia with the second Super Chat of the evening. Saying big up, lads, wonder who the players are going to blame now. It's a great question to ask, and it's a great – Actually, not a great thing that we're thinking about. It's kind of sad that we're in the state that we're in thinking about it. But nonetheless, I'm very blessed in life. I'm blessed to be here. So big ups to David and Jack Kinnicky of the Irish Hotspur for giving me the platform to be able to speak my truths. So big ups to them. Uh, big up Cursor coming in late, but lateness is greatness, my friend. Jacob has the most chill voice ever. If they ever need someone to replace the guy who speaks as Archer, you should sign up. Hey, you know anybody, send them my He's way, right. my friend. I will do the voice. I will do it, man. I will do it. Um, Rabbi says, thanks for the stream. Hey, thank you for being here tonight. Uh, again, I hope everyone feels just a little bit better because I know I do. Philly2109 yeah. says, big up, Jacob, with a silky voice. Silky, I like that. Silky is smooth. Yeah, nice that's a good one. Yeah. Uh, I reckon it's, it's the, Shure, uh, the Shure SE57 microphone or whatever. I think it is. It's not the voice, man. It's the, no, it's, it's not. The, it's, it's, it's the Shure, like it. M, it's the M, Shure MV7. If you oh, don't know, go oh. ahead and get the Shure MV7. <laughs> It'll make you sound smooth and silky, just like it did for me. Um, Dragon D's nuts said they went over there and subbed. I'm gonna see if they're telling the truth right now. You, That's what's up. Hey, two people went and subbed. You was at 228. We're at 230 now. I appreciate yeah, the two of you that went over Thank there you. and subbed to Maha Hotspur. I know it means a lot to him. It means a lot to me as well. So big up showing the love with the Irish welcome. Big love to John. Big love to Elle. She's been here all night. I uh, hope yeah. you're doing all right. I will never say you're deluded, but thank you for being here. This has been another fan call in show to recap the post match. And unfortunately, it was a 1 1 versus Everton, but big up yourselves if you're here. Make sure you hit that like on the way out. Make sure you join CF and get your membership next time so you can chat with the big boys, David and Jack. Um, and, and then you get your own airtime. They'll just to let you just speak and you can just say what you need to say and you won't get cut off by me because I'm such a rude host. But until next time, as always, come on, you Spurs. You Spurs. Um, course, 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 course